Patrice O'Neill in studio. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I, I told these guys, imagine a fiery hurricane. It's sort of out there that, you know, hurricane season's right around the corner. You yeah. got this oil all over the ocean. Yeah. Now you got now you got an oily hurricane. Then you get a, I don't know, a lightning bolt or something. Yeah. The next thing you know, you got a fiery hurricane. How great would a giant fucking Cat 5 hurricane on fire? What's worse than a hurricane? We saw what it did to New Orleans. A hurricane is bad enough. Imagine 250 mile an hour winds on fire. fire. I got my oh, would that be great? fingers crossed. Oh, would I love to you know see what? that. And and you know. Both fingers. I'm talking to the people out there, and you know you want to see a fiery hurricane. If you're fortunate enough to live, you want to uh, see crazy shit like sci-fi that. sci-fi exclusive movie, Fiery Hurricane. hurricane. <laughs> Just called Fire Hurricane. Fire Wind. Yes, Fire, fire wind. wind. On sci-fi. I cannot. Yes. Well, look at this poor pelican. The Starring poor Lou ducks. Diamond Phillips. Look at this horrible oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, the poor bird. Is Why that, are they constantly showing this shit? Why was that bird in ice? That wasn't... Oh, that no. bird was Man, stuck I can't in even oil. Look at it. That, These poor birdies. Look at that pelican. Is, are, pelican are pelicans supposed to be that color? Pelican, no. God no. is fucking mad. If you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in God, you're an asshole. I think we've messed with the portal to hell. Like, it's a oh. mile down, and it's five miles in the ground, and it's just fucking... And, and we, we breached that... Led portal to hell, and now it's pumping out evil. We all thought it was fire. Yeah, but those those dumb Arabs that wrote the Bible. Yeah, they just said fire be more interesting, but it was really oil. It's oil. oil. The devil's just an oily, yeah, <laughs> an oily, a, messy, a evil big thing. Oily bird. Yes. I can't wait bird. till he flies out of the ocean. Mm. Oh, like the fucking Kraken. He's gonna come out covered in oil. Twenty seven hundred gallons. I'll just say twenty seven hundred yeah. gallons a minute. Yeah, it's it's flowing out of there. I don't I don't, I don't even understand how much that is. But if you had twenty seven hundred gallons, you, you can't clean that of up. a truck just yeah. just yeah. by itself. <laughs> yeah. Twenty seven gallon, twenty seven hundred gallons, gallons of oil yeah. that you you and some friends were driving around yeah. and just dumped it in a river. <laughs> right. You destroyed yes. that river. You would be prosecuted to the fullest extent of you the law. You killed everything yes. in that fucking lake. And if that's you did that every minute, every a conga line of trucks is driving into the Gulf. How many dead dinosaurs <laughs> right. died right there? Right. It must have been gwillions of dinosaurs. <laughs> gwillions. That gwillions. Just got, they must have. <laughs> it must have been a Super Bowl party <laughs> where those dinosaurs died. Gwillions. Oil won't stop flowing out of that fucking border. No, they cannot it's, stop this thing. And uh, I'm they so can't put the cap. Why are on we it. moving on from the fire? They need the, the Necromonicon thing. It, it, Dude, it's it's going to happen. Fire it's going to blow oil everywhere. Yeah. Oh, man. Would that be something? Pure crude. Just oil oily, oily everywhere. gunk fucking 10 <laughs> miles inland. And it's going to something happen to guy. It's going to be like the birds, right? This motherfucker is going to be out there just lighting a cigarette. You know, <laughs> people going to be inside as the oil fly. He's the people going to be just at the window going, no, no. Don't, don't. <laughs> And he lights the entire fucking yeah. atmosphere will be burning. Giant swirling fire, fire cane. cane. Yeah, fire Dude. cane. I like it. Yeah. Fire cane. Fire and the, cane. And the eye is a mixture of air and fire whirling at, and it just it it's hotter than the sun in the middle. And it's uh, hotter than the sun. And you know you'll see an image of the devil uh, in the oh yes in the fire cane. <laughs> <laughs> and it just makes it sound like <laughs> it's this growling Satan sound that's louder than any freight train. <laughs> you want to see this, right? I, oh, absolutely. And I think the average person wants to see this as long as it doesn't affect them. Oh, directly. I, I, I can't directly. wait till it hits New York, just all over the windows. Oh, uh, Petropolis. Right. <laughs> Petro Petropolis. Yeah, Petropolis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oil. I can't wait. Because this is just, it, it's, we deserve it. We fucking deserve it. It's fucking disgusting. We've opened it up. We deserve this shit. We've it's cracked gonna, it open. And how many days? It's been leaking for 40-something? 50 days. Oh, yeah. Almost 50 days, days, right? Yeah. Hey, uh, Dr. Kaku was on Oberman last night. Will he call our show today? What is he saying? Uh, Michu Kaku was on Oberman last night. Thank you, Dave C. Uh, talking about nuclear hurricane oil spill, if they used a nuke to stop the oil spill. Are they, are they talking about nukes now? They could not possibly. This is not a movie. They would never. What would a nuke do? 
What do you uh, mean they would never? It would blow a giant point, hole in the ground. Right, you know what they are? This should be called Day 50 of Operation Hope Stop. <laughs> <laughs> It's they, uh, they don't know what don't to know what fucking to do. do. Why? Yeah. I don't understand. They don't know what to do. They can't figure out how to fucking close this pipe off. They're it's hoping amazing. it stops. There's little robots down there working their little robot asses off. Doing cutting, what? cutting the pipe because the pipe was a jagged edge. So they're trying so to So they cut trying to cut it so they could fit a cap on top. And they can't do that. The saw got jammed and then got unjammed, and they 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 they, they, they cut it, but the the edge was jagged. Like there's just a problem at every turn we, with this thing. We have a lot of James tr- Cameron's calling them assholes, <laughs> and they don't want to listen to James Cameron. No. <laughs> maybe maybe you get Costner, his friends from that him. fucking moon. Just yeah. get about <laughs> seven eight hundred giant from blue people Pandora. to fucking clog it up. <laughs> hey, I I gotta go to the phones. We have a lot of truckers. Uh, you, hold on, you want to see what Jimmy? Hold on. Morning to you, funny people. Uh, Good morning, Gretchen. <laughs> all right, so oh, this is not Jimmy. a funny matter at Jimmy's all, what's going TV. on down in the Gulf. But the president has Jimmy been accused of not showing enough hey, emotion. This is, what we're Amy, about. is that a fair assessment? N- no. I mean, uh, people always bond over anger more than they do over what they love. Say, and so I think you just we want Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer, the president yeah. to be impassioned about it. And he, I think he is, but he needs to just act logically I'd out of Amy Schumer. You know, the best actions to take rather than just, just emotionally. Jim, I totally get it. Jim, some people yeah. said that he was more impassioned listening to Paul McCartney perform at the White House the other night than he has been about the Gulf spill. How would you respond? Um, well, I think, first of all, we're all a little uncomfortable that my shirt's open far too wide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's the president. It's like, what do they want him to do? You know, shake his fist and drop the f bomb. He's, you know, he's supposed to handle things nice. calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> a very good point. But Tom, even Spike Lee, who was an ardent supporter of President Obama the other day, said, "Hey, if you're going to get mad about anything, this might be it." And you're shocked that I disagree with Spike Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, he. I have to agree with uh, with what everyone's saying. He should. There's no reason that he has to get angry because what's going to happen when they plug the spill? Are we going to say, oh, you're not happy enough. You need to celebrate with us. It's ridiculous. I think a lot of people are thinking about the images they saw of President Bush down in the pit at 9-11. And that was an image they could embrace and maybe hold on to. It would be hard for Obama to stand on, you know, on the oil spill in the middle of the ocean. Like how the media paints him. He could at least try. He could at least try. No, but the last time uh, our president reacted emotionally, we wound up in two wars. All right, we're going to leave it at that. But we're not going to leave our comedians because they're going to talk about this. Vice President Al Gore. What really broke up his marriage to Tipper was it President Bush? That's the like ugliest saying, pretty woman I've ever seen. <laughs> and the driver blows through the watch that through the toll. The whole thing caught on camera. Right back. What are they doing? Are they kind of ripping off Red Eye here? Are I don't they, know they what get, the they're getting like they topics and comics to to kind what... of talk about the topics and. Jeez, why geez. do they have comics on these shows? <laughs> but he's just like, why do they have comics on like, these like shows? For 50, so it's like, all right, funny guy, topic guy, and it's just like, you know, Amy Schumer's, you know, like, you know the world? It's like, you don't have enough time. Like, if she had 10 minutes, she could be funny and go the world. Right, right. With 30 seconds, it's like, you know what Norton did? It's like what they want you to do. Yeah, just... Goof on yourself is, a little bit. And then she goes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then moves now, on to the next one. Uh, yeah. You were for, saying. For his 22nd take yes. on the whole thing. Get You're right. With that shit. Right. Long form, it, it would be a, a, a good watch, a good view. Yeah, you can hey, fucking expand on uh, your ideas. Yes. I was saying we have a lot of truckers. They're going to explain how much oil is spilling in the Gulf. Oh, uh, okay. We got Scott in New York. Because you said one tanker truck or whatever. No, I mean, I'm just saying I don't know how much yeah, 2,700 yeah. gallons okay. is. Well, we're going to find <laughs> out now. Scott, go ahead. Now, what it is is that your average tanker truck, like fuel tanker, holds yeah. 6,000 gallons of diesel fuel or oil, gas, whatever they're hauling in them. And Patrice said that thing's pumping out like fucking 30,000 gallons a minute. 2,700 like gallons a minute. 2,700 gallons a minute. 2,700. Yeah, roughly. Oh, 2,700? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, well, still, that's one full tanker truck a minute. That's two, according to you. Yeah, a minute. what are you talking about? You said, uh, wait, six thousand. Oh, no, no, no. That's half a tank of truck. All the math. Uh, uh, s- half a tank of truck a minute. So half of those big things a, mi- a minute, though. A, mi- a minute. That's it. So every yeah, two minutes, it's a full. Hour. A full tanker of, of fucking oil is pumping out of that ground yeah, everyone's every like, minute. Everyone's yeah. like, how are they going to clean this up? How are you going to clean up that much oil? 
That's it, a lot how? Of oil. It, it, Explain it, to me how you could clean up all you that oil. You ever see one of those things tip over in the, in the fucking highway? The highway's closed yeah. till tomorrow. <laughs> Forever, yeah. They gotta clean that shit up. Off the ground with brooms. <laughs> with <laughs> with brooms. And kitty litter. <laughs> Vacuums, kitty litter, and brooms. <laughs> what the fuck are they gonna do? It's a, a mile I, under the water. I don't know. It's a mile what under the water. the fuck? Are they gonna do? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the. This is not even. Th- let me tell you, man. This is why there's three comics on this fucking show in the morning, right? Because <laughs> they cannot. They keep showing the the sad music ducks. Yeah. But they are trying to take away. They're trying to make it a duck thing, and a, this is bigger than the ducks. I have to say. Yeah. This is this is planet Earth type of shit. The Gulf is the ocean. <laughs> it's the fucking ocean. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's it's a- bazillions of gallons <laughs> of fucking oil in the ocean. If this was in the middle of the Pacific, yeah, motherfuckers would. Like, oh my god, you know where this shit could possibly disperse. I I I was reading something that the Exxon Valdez still has remnants of some bullshit. Some of that shit. See, considering yeah. a doctrine of proprietary facts, no what is it? Well, in order to, oh. in their own. Right. Um, I thought she was coming back with Jim Norton. Wait, what do uh, they do? They then they they, they got to just sit there while this girl uh, babbles. Well, this pretty is ugly. Is woman? this a practical this beginning or shrek-head? another example of more government <laughs> interference? We're back oh, with our panel for a very heady topic for our panel of comedians. <laughs> uh, Tom, let me start with uh. you on this. So basically, what they're saying potentially is that journalism needs a bailout. Why? I mean, isn't first of all, isn't the the journalism oh, as no. a whole isn't it supposed to be providing a, a kind of a check to government? So why is government Tom interested Shalou. in propping them up? Are you, aren't they supposed to just tolerate them? It's like freedom of the press is freedom. We're not going to put you in jail, but we're not going to bail you out. A lot of newspapers in trouble right now, right, Jim? Well, yeah, they should be in trouble. I mean, it's like the days of Walter Cronkite and integrity are over. I mean, <laughs> really, I mean, these are the same people who are trying to get satellite photos of Tiger Woods' genitals. They don't deserve a, ba- a bailout. They've done nothing. <laughs> but you th- oh, they're tabloids. They should be treated like tabloid journalists. They should just kind of die when they die. Uh, the trend of the bailout, Amy, should we bail out the media as well? I agree with Jim. I don't think so. It's like it would be trying to... It's a dying, it's a, it's a dying media. It would be like if we tried to bail out VHS tapes, you know? It's like... <laughs> Newspapers. I still enjoy a physical newspaper if I need to like kill a fly or if I'm potty training a pet. But I mean, that is a physical newspaper. That is a physical newspaper. And also, I think you know, people are blogging for free what people oh, have spent time and money trace. learning how to do legitimately. And I kind of like so some of what the FTC is saying because it would make liking people like. Perez Hilton to an illegal immigrant taking a job from a real American. All right. So the panel seems to agree on all of this. Jim, uh, we heard the news this week Maybe that Tipper and Al Gore getting divorced. I was heartbroken. Uh, Sally, Sally <laughs> Quinn, okay? a, a columnist, uh, blaming it on Bush, unbelievably. Uh, do you blame Bush for the uh, she got big for the fat arms? Too, for Tipper like, and Al yeah. getting divorced? No. I mean, look, what kind of a marriage can't survive one stolen presidency? Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's so annoying. They blame Bush for everything. And it's like, I think the problem is she was probably just so sick of the environment. Environment, his environmental babble. She's like, enough, I get it, it's hot, shut up. <laughs> Amy, from a female perspective, what was it? <laughs> oh, I don't have right that on. perspective. But I, uh, <laughs> no, I think, you know, everyone blames Bush for everything, like if they can't find parking. And I can relate to that. <laughs> but I think the real culprit here is this global is warming. Tr- As the globe's gotten warmer, Al's gotten colder, and Tipper's <laughs> sick of it. Tom, is there a statute of limitations Tom. out there for when people will stop blaming Bush? There should be a statute of limitations for playing that video of him kissing his wife. I don't want to see that again. <laughs> Making out with his wife. I think that's what did it. <laughs> the way he grabbed her and made I, I'll never get that image out of my head. It's tough. Oh, it's, it's, it is hard to, to leave the brain. All right, real quickly, where are you all appearing oh. since you are comedians? Amy. I'll be at the San Jose Improv June 9th through the 14th. Saturday night at Moonwork. It's hard to find, but find those it. who find it. I reward it. I'll be at uh, Caroline's on Broadway tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. All right. Jim Norton, Tom Shalhoub, Amy Schumer. Great panel today. Thanks so much. Amy just is really looking fucking sexy right there. She's always looking I, sexy. I, you know, she, she, she put a little curl in her hair. Yeah, she put a little curl in her hair. She's got like a girl next door face. And like a fucking, you want a fucking body. Right, Patrice? Patrice is uh, just waking up n- <laughs> again what? from that. Norton did great. Norton did what he was supposed to do. Norton, At yeah. one point, the other guy yeah. is, is is giving a serious answer. Because well, Norton's had z- z- a lot of years yeah. of Doing fucking that. panel practice. Right. Damn. 
He had yeah. a lot of years of panel practice. Yeah. Ooh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that Amy Schumer. No fucking. What? He'll treat him. He called Halle Berry a monkey, and Amy <laughs> Schumer is fucking. <laughs> he will not call Harry yeah. Halle Harry Belly. <laughs> you fucking cocksucker! Don't try to foist that shit off on me, you bastard! <laughs> 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 he, he trying to foist off, foist. <laughs> 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 Son of a bitch! Uh, Come on, she's fucking look. But, Amy's she, Amy's hot, man. I like Amy. She is hot, but it's like it, it's like come on, man. It's a context hot. It's just like yeah. Sarah Palin. But a, Amy's a, 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 a hot. She's hot. That's what I mean. All right, just something. Don't, no, no. I was looking at her, thinking like, wow, wow you know, to jerk off and stuff. Oh. Like, what? Probably fucking spank it to one of them pictures. And, and Amy's sexy. Like, she's, like, in term, in comic world, she's highly regarded. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Highly, yeah. like, oh, shit, Amy's, you know, fat ass and shit. And that, <laughs> the, the whole thing is saying, but, yeah. you know, put it in the context, nigga, a little bit. I was just looking. She, she had a leg was, showing though. and stuff. I wasn't, uh, yeah. All right. She, she was showing saying, a lot of legs. Fighting. <laughs> a lot of her legs, and she had a little curl to her hair. And, and, and she got her hair done for the big fox show. She did. She, did. she, did. she, she definitely did. Very <laughs> with her fucking points and her feelings. She, like this. Fucking she usually has puke in her hair, so this was good for her. <laughs> and she and washed here's, her hair and put a little curl what I in think. it. Right. And that big meaty arm fucking host with that giant face and head. Oh, I know. Little features and a big giant head. Uh, they giant should, arms. They should just had Jimmy on. There wasn't enough they time for had three comics. One, one comedian guy just doing it. Yeah, but they don't trust comedians because the end, no. and and they know Jimmy's a little edgy for the morning because you know this is a very uh, incestuous game. Uh -huh. is, is why I don't show, my face is not on Fox anymore. They nah, they made they, an internal decision. Oh, <laughs> get this nigga away. You so, burnt that bridge, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good bridge to burn. Yeah, because that shit is. It, it, uh, eventually, you're gonna get caught up in something bad. All right. Yeah, you're gonna say what? something like. Fucking around. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to get caught something. You're going to get caught. Why don't we move on? Because uh, people got more on this oil thing. Eric in Texas. Eric. What's up, boy? Nate? what's up, Patrice? How are you, sir? I, I hate to get biblical on y'all, but the Bible say the ocean will fill with blood. Yeah. What page you know is that? Blood and it's the blood of <laughs> the earth. Is that page eighteen hundred and twelve, eighteen thousand? Yeah. Give, give, give us a page. Give us a page, man. That? Give it's, us a scripture. And it says the blood of the earth. The blood of the earth, which is oil. oil. Is that revel? Is that re re revelation? Yeah, that's revelation. Why the fuck? Find that shit out, man, and goddamn Twitter it or something. Because I, I want to read that shit. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. find that shit. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see you coming to Houston next week, Patrice. Yeah, I'm coming to Houston if we still alive and shit. <laughs> if there is a Houston. Yeah, I don't it. like flying, so I hope the air's on fire. Dude. <laughs> 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 fucking fiery hurricane is the best. <laughs> I, I mean, if the air's not fucking completely. Because <laughs> you know the hurricanes, I mean, the fucking volcano. This is this is yeah. interesting because they did a trailer. That, that fucking volcano in Iceland yeah. was a trailer for the end of the world. Didn't know that if a, her, if, a, if a volcano erupts enough, stops air travel, which means stops food delivery, stops yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. everything. That's fucking fantastic. Amazing, Can you imagine right? that shit? Yeah. This is a commercial for the fucking end. <laughs> this is a trailer for the end of the world. It, we're watching, it, we're the trailer. watching the trailer. <laughs> it's like, oh, I want to see this. Where the fuck is Pablo Francisco so he can fucking <laughs> do his thing? In a world. In a world. Hey, uh, can we get Michu on, or are we trying, Danny? Uh, we called in the back. Okay, he, uh, we're working we on it. We just woke him up. I think uh, Steve's calling him back at 8 o'clock. And he's going to come on? Hopefully, yeah. Uh, Oil is like... Rocks. The gulf is like a river. No, it's the gulf. A river is like the gulf. <laughs> wait, wait, it's swirling eddies of oil and... When did the hurricane start up? Soon, right? It's hurricane season oh now, I believe. Oh, hurricane the season is on. Storm. Holy the perfect shit. Wait, storm. did you see that there's there's one in Guatemala that's Love just this. that's leveling Guatemala. People did you see that giant dead? Did you see really? that giant sinkhole? <laughs> In Guatemala. Oh, yeah. It, it, what is that about? It just, it was another <laughs> What's that about? That's God's it's, toilet. He made a toilet so he could sit down and read a newspaper while he's watching giant. the end of Earth. Look at that. It just fucking... <laughs> uh, a por another portal to hell. 
<laughs> Chase is laughing at the sinkhole. I, Listen, someone, that I used hope, to be someone's house. I on hope top that's of that. Galactus on the way, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's who's going to get us this Galactus. <laughs> He's going to get us all. <laughs> that swallowed a building up, too. It just fucking opened up a hole in the earth and swallowed a building. How deep is that? Oh, gosh. Does it go down? It's Galactus. <laughs> oh, that's Galactus. Very good. Hey, uh, remember the nuke thing? I guess the Russians tried that in the 70s. Did Somebody they? has info on it. Mm. Uh, David in North Carolina. David. Hey, boys. How you doing? Hey. Hello, yeah, David. I think back, it was back in the 70s. I think the Russians had this same kind of thing happen. And they, you know, put a nuke about a mile down in the ground and blew it. And when it went off... It creates this space, and it just kind of a big enough space where the oil will just suck down, or you know, just kind of gravity will bring it down into the ground. It looked uh, like, from what I'm watching, that it crushes the whole pipe and, and squeezes it off and pinches it off. Yeah, well, it, 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 I think what it, my understanding is that it created a vacuum that just sucked the oil <laughs> down and killed the pressure going up. You know, and and that's. <laughs> That's something that they've actually talked about doing, sticking a nuke down there and doing it. Jesus. Yeah. How do you out, stick a All right, nuclear you, device under the gulf a mile down? Oh, my God. And, and what does it do? What is the nuclear thing going to do? It, it shows in this cartoon. See? It kind of like it squeezes like, off the pipes. It's, it fucking, the pressure just collapses everything. See, the nuke goes off, and then, and then it, it collapses everything. <laughs> This and, doesn't seem cool. And also <laughs> collapses the world. Yes. I can't wait. This is great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking go home and start meditating Front row seats. about death. The only thing about death that yeah. fucks me up is the is the infinity of it. Yeah. Uh, Colin, it's Colin Quinn said one. It's the infinity. Yeah. If I can get used to just being dead forever, <laughs> I can't fucking wait. I can't wait, man. This is just great. Front row seats. Because this, we deserve it. We just deserve it. We just didn't. We don't need to be this destructive. You think we've been fucking around terrible. too long? And, too and, long. And creatures who just live to live. Are, are suffering bad. I can't. I just. We deserve it. We just fucking deserve it, man. Is there any animal that we have not fucked up in some way, shape, or form on this planet? Roaches. Uh, yeah. I think we even do that. We anything got that. Anything we that's got been raid. alive since the we prehistoric got a roach hotel. True that. <laughs> True that. I think we fuck True with that. roaches too. I we, think. I think. Uh, but I, I mean, we're not making a dent. No, no. I think not some of make the, a dent, but we. Fuck I think with some everything. of those sea creatures that are a couple miles down, where we just can't get to them to I fuck with them. Fucking, Do we I, even fuck with those things? I those think weird that fucking shrimp with flashlights on their head. That yeah, fucking exactly. <laughs> that big toothfish. <laughs> yeah, with the Christmas uh, light on those, his head. Those fucking uh, things. I think yet. one day one of those things was swimming around looking for shit, and a fucking. Pepsi can hit him on the head. <laughs> and he said, fuck this. Just like sunk down. It took years to get there. Oh, I like, sure is. Where's all the garbage going? From the middle of the Pacific in a big fucking whirlpool. But we're just, we're, we're <laughs> don't, we're don't ask, don't tell in terms of that shit. Yeah. I, you know, you take a dump, you, it just goes someplace. It goes somewhere. We don't know. It, it, I don't care. Dude, we just. out of my house. We, we deserve this. We just deserve yeah. Earth getting revenge on yeah. us somehow, man. You think it's turning on us now? We've done enough. Don't you think? We've just done enough damage. Mm. You don't think? Yeah, you go to some places, it looks pretty pristine. You know? Yeah, rich people, where they, where they <laughs> make sure that there's no filth in a 12-mile in a radius. I mean, like, you know, if you ever go to uh, Yellowstone or something like that, yes... You see, like but uh, Yellowstone has a volcano getting ready to fucking. Oh, I know. Yeah, gonna, that will take out what half us. the United States or something. Yes. But that's not yeah. us. You know, we didn't fucking put that there. I, but you go there. You know, you, you, there's there's forests and shit that you could walk through and go, wow, this is pretty untouched. I think the big problem is is this, and I and guy, it's guys like uh, Kwaku over there. Oh, meet you, Kwaku. Kwaku. <laughs> years ago when I was a kid, and they like told that. they 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 did a thing about how the the sun was going to extinguish. Yeah. And I said, you know, how do you know? And then why are you trying to know that? <laughs> it's it's trying to be God, and I think that's what God is mad about. Oh, it's just shit. too much trying to be God. You think with the with everything too much, even just, like just cloning, and yeah, just too much things like that. We're getting God's a little too letting close. us know that no matter what we do, we'll we'll open a big hole in the middle of your fucking 
earth. Trying to be trying to be the, the daddy just, a little too just much. Just trying to run shit. Yeah, that's all. I, I think that's what it is. It's just mm. like the sun will extinguish God. It's like, how the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'll turn the sun out tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. you Did you run, Jimmy? No. Oh, look at you. You were just on the TV. Hey, I just saw you were the guy. Yeah. You were, but I, but you were the guy. Same guy. Same guy. Right there. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> Same guy. Uh, Anthony now has a crush on Amy Schumer. She looked so fucking good. Oh yeah, sitting she looks there. really good, man. Yeah, with the curly hair and the legs. <laughs> yeah, you ever saw her gams before? No, nah, no. Nah, she came in here once and she looked good and stuff like that. But TV, she looked good. And then, and then Patrice, of course, has got to like knock me back down a peg or two. Saying like he's like, wait, wait, you know, I understand in the comedy world she's you know who she is. She's and, hot. And she's hot and everything. Very. But you know, uh, and then he, he accused me of calling Halle Berry a monkey. Yeah. And in the same breath, I say that uh, she's you know Ugh, nappy headed pussy. And then she ooh, likes to drink. Amy Schumer. You start like doing the fucking chicks. soft shoe on Amy Schumer. And <laughs> I show you shoe. beautiful black woman. You're like, like the Amy Schumer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this she, nigglet. She likes Give me some Amy Schumer. Hide it, hide it, hide it. <laughs> She Amy likes, Schumer, do <laughs> She likes the drink, too. Uh, yeah? She likes the drink. How about yeah. that? Oh, yeah, she'll knock him back with you. How yeah. was that horror show over there just now? <laughs> that horror I almost show! almost fucking was in the fetal position. I almost just stabbed myself in the eyes. This that fat middle aged woman. It was short. It was shorter than I thought it was. It was way to too say short. It was short. But that's, that was just you know. Because you have three guys. They, I said they should have just had you. Well, you know, if, it's, if, if it's a 10, yeah. 12 minute segment, just have Jimmy. They're trying it. It's like something uh, they're trying. That was it's, brand new. It's kind of an experimental thing. So I think that they just didn't know how it was going to work out. Are they? Are they kind of trying to do a red eye segment thingy? You know, topics. I don't comics, know. But things. I had a lot more prepared. Yeah. I didn't like just doing one or two lines. I'm the six line kid. You know that. That's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six line kid. <laughs> six line kid. <laughs> you got your shirt in here somehow. I had to. I, I, because this, <laughs> this looks good with a jacket, but open. I look like a fucking tool. Like I'm like, a, like in this situation. <laughs> She's like, you think Obama's doing enough about oil? Hold on, bitch. My yeah. shirt. <laughs> Let me get Shut my up. joke in. After Shalou and Amy Schumer gave us the fucking <laughs> four score in 20 years yeah. ago. You're a. <laughs> they don't get, it's not enough time for that shit. Yeah, you got to just kind of you fucking just jump in, right? Yeah, yeah, get right to yeah. right in there. And Jimmy knows this because you've done enough of these. Yeah, other people kind of don't know and just go on and then get cut off and never allow like allow them to throw a topic to you, but I won't allow them to throw the exact question at me because I, I don't know where I'm going to go with that. So yeah. they want it's like so. Uh, what's your comment on Ob Obama's exact comment? Well, look, here's what I wanted to get at. Larry King is irrelevant or whatever. This guy, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use whatever they say to Leave kind of me a little uh, lateral frog. movement here. I got yeah. I got to be able to. The old tough crowd jive. days did prepare motherfuckers for, yeah, <laughs> for, for crowd, goddamn right? shotgun ex <laughs> extreme <laughs> interviews and shit. <laughs> so what do you think? I don't know. My balls itch, but I'm going to tell you something else, you big face hoe. <laughs> Why are your arms so wobbly? Go down there and soak some of that oil up with your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> fucking squishy eyed hoe. <laughs> Boom. Uh, <laughs> shit. What's your next question? Yeah, next. <laughs> yeah, no it really does Patrice. fucking. It is like a boot camp for fucking doing fucking two minute uh, oh, interviews on television. And Shalou fucking sip, sips his coffee and takes a drag of his cigar. Well, see, when I was. Shut up! <laughs> Pseudo Shalou. Nigga. There's comic under your name. <laughs> Stay <laughs> home. Say no to something. <laughs> this is my big chance to go on Fox and Friends. Say no. Notice something. <laughs> no, that's not my up my alley. It's it's too. Oh, it's, it's a little bit too rifle. I'm oh. not that kind of guy. I, I like to expound on my. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like. Well, uh, I having agree a with. More time. I agree with Jim. Um, see, see, people don't. Uh, is this the bitch from last comic standing? <laughs> Get your shit together, ho. What the fuck? I don't. I don't think Yuck any of it us. Up. He didn't. He didn't know. I'll say this: the first time with Obama, none of us knew. Really? When she, yeah, she asked that he watched one of the Ground Zero moment. Believe me, I wanted to get to a. I don't want Obama screaming. I had some kind of Carlo Rizzi from the Godfather reference. Yeah. I don't want him yelling, "Clean it up like Carlo from the Godfather." But I, clean it up. But it was. It was just. I should have said that, but I didn't realize we were going to stop like literally that quickly. So oh my yeah, God, yeah. That, I think threw us all over. Oh, yeah. sure. The president. That's the worst thing that can happen as a president because it's something you cannot control. Is a natural disaster. But this is right in line with the movies too, because there's always a black president when the world is I fucking blowing shit. up. It's oh, Danny Glover, Danny Glover, <laughs> Tiny Lister, 
and fucking Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. And, and now, now Barack Obama, Obama is the real deal. And, and <laughs> this is the end of the world. God is white. God damn. It's not even that bad of a disaster. <laughs> the, the planet's kind of just taking a, a liquid shit. Who cares? Well, for now, it's you didn't a, hear about the flaming hurricanes. I, dude, man. Yeah, we're talking about flaming hurricanes North. now. It is fucking well, If there's a hurricane, horrific. see, we had the whole scenario. There's a hurricane. It lifts all the oil up, atomizes it a little bit in the atmosphere, and then some idiot goes to light a cigarette, and woo, you have fire cane. <laughs> they not to call it a, a himicane if it's a guy does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chip. <laughs> Another sign of the apocalypse, <laughs> Chip Chipperson. And isn't that the, the hub of where ship, all the ships kind of get go there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they—that's where they get the trucks are. And then and then they spread pipelines, they, food, and, and yeah, fucking yeah. and yeah. and clothes and whatever they got to deliver. A major seaport is shut down. Yeah. Watch watch the prices of food. Watch the price. It's just and there's some guy on the top of a building jacking his dick, just <laughs> making a buck. It's the same guy that was jerking off after Haiti earthquake. He's just like, oh, pipes and oh, <laughs> the fucking the guy that owns a cement factory and just, just sticking his own finger in his ass, just like, oh, the money, <laughs> sir. But it's the end of the world. Does it matter? Oh, From row seats. Oh, it's it's bad, man. It, it is real bad. We're gonna have Michu Kaku on. Oh, yeah. He was talking about nukes and shit nukes. last night. I, yeah. I just Using hope something happens to him so he can go. Oh my God, no. <laughs> oh God, no, no, God! <laughs> They'll just plug it. They'll figure out a way to plug it. That's oh, all think? it is. Oh, really? Yeah, of course. And, then, and then what's next, though? It's fifty what's days. No, it's been Fuck fifty it. days. So what? The oil will dissipate. There's a few dead fish and lobster. Fuck they've it. Been, that's what they've been hoping for. They've been like, man, it can't be that much oil. Yeah. It's a whole lot. It really is. The Earth has a lot of oil in it. How many? Yeah. I think a brontosaurus has got to be. Oh man! Eight thousand gallons of oil. Just one of them. Just one brontosaurus. <laughs> one brontosaurus. But that's just it. I think one brontosaurus ain't shit. I don't think it's a drop of fucking oil in the long term. I, I don't think like I think this is. You think it's, it was a amounts, lot of dinosaurs? Massive amounts of dinosaurs and just sediment of plant life and everything else for millions upon millions of years just sitting there. And now it's just blue. And we had to poke a hole. Oh, in blue. We poked and a this, hole. And this sounds like a real douche question, though. But why not sand? Like, how did, how did oil end up the shit <laughs> yeah, that sand, we love? Sand doesn't burn. Yeah. <laughs> we need shit that burns. Oil doesn't get your ass crack while you're fucking on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> it will now if you go down to Louisiana. <laughs> you got to fucking. We are uh, uh, an animal based on fire, making heat and fire. The first time that cavemen fucking looked at that shit, they went, yeah, we need this. Fire rules. And we figured out better ways to make shit burn. <laughs> Longer. And, and oil and, just and burns. And oil and is the shit. Oil just burns. Oil yeah. burns. It's, it's great. It's, it's fucking. It's as simple as that. Transportable. We we fucking poke holes in the globe. It's all over the place, and uh, now we're kind of like, "Oops, we uh, fucked up on, on this one." I fucked up bad on this one. I it, fucked it, up, Frankie. <laughs> would it be better if it, this was like <laughs> over there somewhere? Though we would just be like, eh, ah, we wouldn't give a oh, shit. We wouldn't if care. It was over there. If we this was care. pouring into the yeah. fucking somewhere over, yeah. If it was in India, they'd be bathing in it. <laughs> 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 Hey, uh, I love this idea, though, the end of the world. That's oh, fantastic. Uh, it's just interesting, boy, to prove these goddamn dishwashers right. I thought oh. there was some horse shit. <laughs> these dishwashers. These, these ancient... <laughs> the these day. ancient delivery boys. With their fucking... <laughs> with their fucking rock axes. Hey, and they're fucking using ants to fucking saw wounds. They were right. The first calendar, City of Gold, and now they're fucking... And scrubbing my shit off a plate <laughs> yeah. in Lost the back of a restaurant. <laughs> Lost everything to Cortez. Yeah. <laughs> Douchebag motherfucker. And now. It, it's all heading right toward 2012, isn't it? Dude, oh, really? this is. With the volcano and look now at, this. Exciting. When they show. When now the first the trailer comes cane. out, right? For yeah. movies. Yeah. When does it come out? About a year and a half before the movie? Mm -hmm. It's a year and a half trailer. Coming soon. Coming soon. The end of the world. 
Get your shit ready. Starring Barack Will we, Hussein Obama. I'm going to Trader Joe's. Let me tell the you, president. my garage is going to be full of tuna fish cans yeah. and, and beans, whatever the fuck, just to so, just ready in to case. Go. Just yeah, in you're case. You're going to have horrible yeah. farts. Yeah. Tuna and beans. Fuck. Keep them away from my house. God damn. When, when the fucking I Am Legend monster start fucking knocking on my door, That's I'm telling it. you. I'm set. My mother couldn't go. She couldn't get it. When that, when the, when the, when the fucking bacteria was in the water in Boston, my mom's had to, they, she goes, oh, yeah, they, the oh, people water. panic and they went out and bought water and did, so we panic and it's going to be, everybody's going to be trying to hoard. It's going to be riots and shit. It's going to be insane. God, that'd be great. Insane. Fuck anarchy. All it takes is God. to turn the lights off for a week. That's a all it week? takes. Yeah, no I'm no being electricity nice. over a widespread area <clears throat> with, with, with no food deliveries, a no week. garbage pickup. Tops. And then it's just completely insane. Three fucking days. You think three days? Some, I don't think three is enough. Before no. somewhere no, between I three, think three and days seven, and shit starts happening. Let's go five days. People start fucking freaking out. Five days and all with hell no breaks hope, loose. No, I mean like you, you got to understand. Three days with no hope. Like no one giving you, hey, we're coming to help out. We're doing that. Oh, I'm not three even talking about that. Like, just, oh, oh, this shit is gonna last. Just basically, if the lights go out for seven days, and you don't, you, you would assume they're gonna go back on. There'll still be riots in the street for food and shit. Oh my god! Absolutely. Oh, there's gonna be people look, banging on my door then. Oh, Anthony, he can't I'm wait. Gonna go, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Anthony, go can't wait fuck for that. yourselves. Oh, you can't wait You're gonna for have that. to get food Batten eventually. down yep. the hatches. You're gonna have to get, leave that house eventually and get food. <laughs> so right. what? I'll wait. I'll be like fucking. I am legend with no electricity. Same how car. you gonna plug in? your guns. Plug <laughs> in my gun. Because we saw it in Boston. It got a little crazy up there and they, the water was bad for what? Three days? Four just, days? Just when the water's bad, man. They, it, they, got little, they, it got a little crazy up there. And they tell you. They just tell you what not to do. And, right. You know. I just made another purchase, uh, Patrice. Which one? I got the, the Barrett 50 Cal. You got a 50 cal? The Barrett 50 cal, the what's, M107. What's, what's on the way? Rhinoceroses? This fucking... Elephants? The shells are this big. You got a 50 you could, cal? You can hit a target a mile away if you're proficient. A mile away. Yeah, someone actually killed someone with, with it a mile and a half away. Oh, that was that what they used? Just mm -hmm. fucking blasted some terrorist's head. Wait, he like, didn't even know three, what was happening. Three? He's, he's going to get in his fucking car. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, yeah, just wow. below. Just below. Wow. Just big digits. But this thing is just a pisser. And the bullets too? You got the bullets? Oh, they're like four bucks a piece. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, there I am holding it. <laughs> You're not supposed to hold it that way. No, but. it's so got a this store, the picture. You, you had to order this? No, it's in the store. It's in they're, the store? Yeah, I, I pick it up today. They're putting uh, the scope on it and shit. And is that, that, is and that then legal? I'm going out. <laughs> and then where are you going <laughs> to shoot it? It, it exactly. is now. It is Where now. Are you shooting it? Hopefully I on his out. toilet, like fucking <laughs> private pile. <laughs> <laughs> I go out to uh, Calverton. They got about 300 yards out there, which, uh, you know. How far is that, Calverton? It's like, uh, Calverton's out at exit mm -hmm. 70. Oh, oh Long Island. Something. Yeah, it's way out at the end there. Holy shit. But. Cut. Like, so what took you so damn. long? Why is this, this wasn't on your list it, earlier? It's been on my list for quite a while, but I just w wasn't able to really uh, find find one. Bolts where where is that place? place? What town? Uniondale, Long Island. That's where you kind of needed. <laughs> Dude, that's the bullet. Uniondale. Yeah, the yeah. bolts are five, five and, and a half quarter feet. inch. And five that, and a half wow. almost. Yeah. The one all the way to the left, the bullet is the <laughs> standard one that they use to shoot, like out of your, you know, uh, AR-15 type rifles that they use uh, in Iraq and stuff. And that is a 50 caliber. And is that what they're killing people with these fucking? Oh yeah, that's these, the sniper these drones. Oh. Oh, no, no, the drones, oh, they're oh. shooting like Hellfire missiles. That, though, they're shooting people in the head with and, and just ripping their bodies apart. We'll go back yes. to your gun purchase Dr. in a second. Dr. Michu Kaku. Michu Kaku. Hello. Hello. Hi. H how are you, sir? We saw you on TV last night talking about the uh, the oil spill, and we certainly wanted to get your take on our show as well, considering right. you're a friend of the show. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. now, uh, using a nuclear device, uh, how viable is this? It's not a good suggestion at all. Uh, first of all, it'll make the area radioactive. It'll release radioactive iodine, cesium, strontium, which will contaminate the area for decades, if mm. not centuries, depending upon you know the flow of ocean currents. And during hurricane season, you can imagine that tar balls will be shot into the air that are radioactive. Radioactive so radio tar. 
Yeah, can you imagine waiting back to tar balls winding up and people swimming oh bowls? It sounds like a horror movie, Dr. Kaku. It sure does. Now, yeah. with, with these hurricanes, uh, we're going to have tar balls flying around? Uh, yeah, hurricanes will actually uh, grab uh, water several hundred feet below the surface and loft it up into the sky. <laughs> if a hurricane comes into the Gulf from the western direction, they spin counterclockwise. So if it's west of the oil leak, the counterclockwise motion will then take this water laden with oil, loft it into the air, and dump it all over the south. Wow. Uh, how far inland uh, could could that actually take um, uh, tar and oil? Oh, potentially hundreds of miles inland. Hundreds of miles. So people on the coast that are worrying and people inland that are saying we have nothing to worry about might actually have uh, something to worry about. That's right. They could have oil, radioactive oil raining down on their hair. On their barbecue pits, on on their rooftops, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a mess. Think of all the lawsuits coming out of this thing. Doctor Michio Kaku, uh, what do you think about this whole thing? Now I know I, we've heard your <laughs> point on this 2012 end of the world kind of thing. Uh, we, we're seeing a lot of man-made and natural disasters happening lately. Um, I know you're a man of science, but spiritually, how are you feeling about this? Well, look at Mother Earth, okay. She rocks the planet almost like every month with a gigantic uh, uh, magnitude 7, even magnitude 8 earthquake. But they happen underwater. They happen away from the television cameras. Mm -hmm. So Mother Earth, rocks, <laughs> Mother Earth gets rocked all the time, but we never really uh, notice these things. Only when we, only when we get rocked. So we are so arrogant. We're so arrogant that we think that when our little domain is rocked, then mm -hmm. it means, oh, my God, chicken like chicken little. Uh, we think that the whole world is falling apart. Dr. Kaku, uh, <coughs> great point. another thing I want to ask uh, that I've been very curious about, how come a natural disaster has never caused a uh, fissure in the earth that has leaked oil into the ocean? Uh, well, they have. I mean, in the sense that we've had a blowout like this before, but they usually happen at 200 feet. I mean, uh, I mean, like an earthquake. Let's say an earthquake happened, and uh, a couple of plates move and lets out uh, some oil from um, a deposit that maybe hasn't even been drilled, uh, and and all of a sudden you're seeing oil spurting up into the Gulf or anywhere else where there might have been this earthquake. Uh, how come that's never happened? Uh, we we oh, haven't seen that. The reason is the deposits of oil are actually pretty rare. Uh, you don't find them everywhere at all. Only a tiny, tiny fraction of the Earth's surface actually has large deposits of, you know, commercially viable oil. And if you then superimpose upon that the fault lines, the fault lines, you find that the fault lines and the oil deposits usually don't match. Ah. So we're in a situation where we think there's oil everywhere, but actually if you're a shell oil engineer, you know that it's only a tiny fraction of the Earth's surface <coughs> uh, has large oil deposits, and they happen not to, la uh, not to be where there's lots of seismic activity. Mm. Thank goodness. Otherwise, uh, you would have this. Yes, that would be uh, oil all over the place. You forgot to ask about the fire cane. What, what's the possibility? You get a hurricane, it scoops up the oil, then you get a little, uh, I don't know, lightning strike, and next thing you know, you got a hurricane that's on fire. Is this, is this possible? Uh, well, a little bit unlikely in the sense that the oil is an oil-water mixture called an emulsion. Uh, some people think that, well, oil separates from water, in which case you should be able to burn off of the oil. Well, that's partially true, but how can we have so many plumes plumes of water going down 22 miles that are 22 miles long. Why is that? Because water and oil do mix sometimes, creating what is called an emulsion. Look at mayonnaise. Uh, look at lotions. Look at your kitchen. Uh, this fucking guy is smart as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> Man, <laughs> go on Jeopardy, nigga! What you doing? <laughs> Patrice. Patrice! Jesus this Christ! Is, this is Dr. Michu Kaku. He's a physicist. Oh, please, fucking guy is phenomenal! Dr. Kaku, I want to apologize we, for uh, Patrice O'Neill's language. Yes, he's... Uh, it is. It gets a little shit salty. Shit prodigious as hell, motherfucker. Yeah, it gets a little damn. salty he's, with his language. He's a comedian. We don't really know much about him. He's playing in the area. He came in to do a set, and I didn't know he was going to use that language, yes, sir. Yes, you've, you've really impressed him, and that's how he uh, shows his uh, uh, that he is in, indeed impressed with you.
Uh, po- we apologize for the language. Yeah. yeah, sorry to interrupt, sir. Please, <laughs> sorry. So it is an, an emulsion, emulsion like mayonnaise All right. that will not uh, uh, just burn um, randomly with maybe a lightning strike. That's right. And also, by the way, the nuke option that I, I talked about on the Keith Overman show last night yes. is, is, is also not, not a good idea because what happens if you detonate a hydrogen bomb underground, okay, what happens is you create an underground sphere, a sphere of vaporized dirt, a hollow sphere. The sides, the walls of the sphere get glassified. Nice. Like the same band. So you have this glassified hollow sphere underneath the ground which then eventually collapses, giving you a gigantic hole. Now, the people who want to nuke the oil well think that the oil well will be classified and therefore sealed up. Mm. But the walls are unstable. Eventually, the, the pressure, 2,000 pounds per square inch on the bottom of the ocean, will cause a cave-in, and then more oil will spill out potentially and create even more places oh. where oil can seep into the environment. But what do you, what do you wow. think about... Are they, are they, are this is, fire, big fire. Are they going to get it cleaned up, or is the oil just going to keep spilling out like a whole bunch of Crisco or something? <laughs> Uh, well, let's hope that uh, the capping procedure, which they're doing right now, even as we speak, uh, let's hope it works. However, a month ago it failed because of methane crystals right. that got into the siphon and jammed it. So now they're putting hot water, hot water down the pipe, and we're waiting and seeing. We're waiting and seeing whether or not the hot water will dissolve the methane crystals so that they can siphon off some of this water. Now, it's not a plug. It's a, it's a very loose-fitting cap. So oil will, in fact, splurt out the outside. It's not a, it's not a perfect seal. That's why they have to use a diamond wire cutter to get a, a nice, clean cut in order to get a nice seal. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we're just keeping our fingers crossed right now. Sir, are they but talking to you about this? Like, are they coming to pe- uh, people like you to, to help? Are they calling you? Oh, well, put it this way. Everybody and their brother now are making suggestions about how to cap that. Well, I get hundreds in my email. Mm. However... Many of these procedures will, in fact, work, but they work at 200 feet. That's the key. The key mm. to the whole puzzle is what works at 200 feet does not work at 5,000 feet, where we have 2,000 pounds of pressure. Uh, think of putting a car on every square inch of your chest. Uh, how, how long would you last <laughs> if you put a car in every square inch? Yeah, right, only a few weeks or something. <laughs> oh, Chip. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. The problem is high pressure. So all these suggestions that I gave in my email, a lot of them will, in fact, work at 200 feet. Well, what's right. your, what's your, what's your uh, uh, idea, sir? Well, for, let me give you an example. Okay, one person said, why not put tires, tires inside the leak that inflates? Yes, we that. saw that. The pressure of... From the inside. Well, at 200 oh. feet, it might work. But at 5,000 feet, where the pressure is great, the tires will collapse. You yeah. can't, how do you inflate a tire when the outside pressure is 2,000 pounds per square inch? Yeah, that, uh, that wouldn't work. But no what, is your, what is your suggestion? Well, my suggestion is that when the thing happened, Obama should have called out the the Navy at that point, the military. That's what I and said. And in, instead of putting BP in charge, he should have just removed them, and he should have had a, a panel of some of the best minds in the petrochemical industry. You know, when, when Gorbachev was faced with the Chernobyl accident back in 1986, he had a raging fire at a nuclear power plant. You know what Gorbachev did? He didn't set up a committee. He sent in the Red Air Force. Yeah. Air Force. It was the Red Air Force that finally stopped that raging fire at Chernobyl. Oh, but some of those poor what, guys. That's what, that's, what, that's what Obama should have done. Called in the military, brought in the best minds, and then these procedures at 200 feet, they all work. He's tried, they've tried seven, seven procedures. They all work at 200 feet. Mm-hmm. None of them work at 5,000 feet. How much oil do you and think is there? How, how much how well, much oil can you possibly perhaps. think is just there? Can it, can it just run out? Possibly enough to last for years. Can you imagine this oil well still lasting for most of your lifetime? There's enough oil in some of these wells to last a lifetime. Wow. So uh, that's why they're panicking, realizing it's going to get into the Atlantic Ocean. It's going to go around the tip of uh, Florida, and it's going to go into the Gulf Stream, and it may even go all the way back to England. So Pet- <laughs> British Petroleum may get some of their oil back in their backyard. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> British, British Petroleum. I forgot that is British That's Petroleum. right. <laughs> so what yeah, do you... British Petroleum uh, is that, get some of their oil back. Uh, and what is this going to do to the Gulf in the end? 
Uh, well, hopefully it won't create dead zones. Uh, the, wor- the worst case scenario, the thing leaks for months and years and creates dead zones where no life can exist uh, in, in the Gulf. Already they've, they partition about a third, a third of the federal area. Uh, it's off limits to fishing, a third of it. Wow. So uh, we're talking about large portions of the Gulf becoming a permanent dead zone unless they can cap this thing this week. And, you know, the relief well in August, yeah. We have problems there with the relief well. The relief well, by the way, is the gold standard. That's the gold standard for stopping an oil leak. The problem is it never works in the first try. Never. Really? We need a lottery. You're drilling a hole that's like uh, two miles long, and you want to hit something the size of a dinner plate. Shit. That's two miles. Wow. So you're not going to do it. Well, now, where does this rank? Re-drill. Where does this yeah. disaster rank on disasters? Is this one of the worst of all all times? Or uh, no, no. There, there have been other ones that were actually bigger. However, the economic damage, the property damage, this could rank perhaps number one in terms of the ultimate property damage uh, mm. and lawsuits that it generates. But there have been other oil oil slicks and oil uh, leaks that were actually bigger but not in such uh, sensitive uh, areas that are laden with property, with fishing industry. Yeah, the Gulf is very important to the uh, United States, of course, yes. Strategically Mm. important for the whole country and also, of course, for the whole economy of the South. Uh, Dr. Kaku, our friend Dr. Steve is a, a big fan of yours, and he wanted me to ask, how long would it take the oil that's in there now? Like, How long would it take it to dissipate as it is now? Oh, that's hard to say because we don't even know how much is down there. You know, there's an argument among engineers as to how much oil there is. Uh, we've seen plumes of oil 22 miles long, 22 miles long in the Gulf. Wow. And so we're kind of clueless as to have the actual how much came out. Now, BP uses satellites to calculate how much oil there is. But that only looks at the top. And like I said, the oil's large amounts of it are emulsified, so it doesn't rise to the surface. All right, so yeah. Submarines that have gone down, submarines that have gone down, have seen these plumes, one plume uh, 22 miles long, and we now realize it could be five times, five times more oil underwater than we see on satellite. Unbelievable. How do, how do you clean all this up in the end? Well, like I said, I would have called out the Navy. You know, right. we have basically the National Guard being called out, and we have volunteers that are working themselves to a frazzle. Uh, these are like heroic volunteers working 24-7. I say we should declare war on this thing and dump the military and, and get all sorts of military mm. expertise. Declare it. What would they be able to do that's different, though? I mean, aside having the uh, unlimited resources, what would the Navy be able to do different? That's Dr. Steve just texted me. That's what he wanted me to ask you. What would the Navy be able to do differently? Okay, here, here is the key. Everyone fans, misses Dr. the Steve. key. It's a physics lesson. Mm. They've tried seven things at this oil uh, leak, and it, they failed because we're not at 200 feet. They all work right. at 200 feet where pressures are not so great. At 5,000 feet, you have complications. You have methane ice crystals forming. You have high pressure that will blow uh, things in different directions. You have to compensate for it. That requires scientists who understand working at 5,000 feet. But you see, BP has no operating experience at all, zero. In fact, hardly mm. anyone has any operating experience operating at 5,000 feet, tapping a raging oil well. That's why we have to bring in people who are experienced. So, you know, these procedures, they will actually work. But you have to, the devil is in the details, the details uh, of high pressure. That's what right. I'm saying. Right, right. So eventually, maybe the same thing. Can't they just put a? Why can't they just put something around it, like a big bell, and then just put a new pipe on top and filter it up? That's what I've been saying to any woman who will listen loudly. Well, that's more or less what they're doing now. Uh, that the so-called cap is actually a bell. It's actually a dome they're putting on top of the thing. It's not a perfect seal. Uh-huh. And they hope to siphon off as much oil as they can by, by capping the thing, which means putting a dome around the leak and then siphoning it back up. So they're doing that now. Let's hope it works. But, again, I'm not optimistic because they've done it before. It's, you know, deja vu all over again. <laughs> like is, it, Yogi Bear. is it because oh, the, uh, Dr. Chip. The, uh, the, <laughs> methane, uh, the methane freezes at that hour, at, at that uh, altitude, and that's at the, uh, that depth, that's where the problem was? I said hour and altitude you know, first. Why, why do we even have this problem? We have this problem, again, because they're not experienced at working at 5,000 feet. At that depth. Methane gas that you find in your kitchen is a solid ice. 
Jim's and blood. because it is so cold, this ice will actually go right up the tube, and as it turns into gas, shoot up like a rocket up the tube, up the pipeline, the oh, riser damn. pipeline. Can't they just have a split? Can't they have a split pipe? They maybe somehow uh, filter at the bottom. Uh, maybe gas up one side and uh, liquid up the other. Uh, no, it's all mixed. It's a mix. You oh. saw the pictures, right? Uh, the, the bubbles in the picture were methane gas. So it's all mixed. You had the mud. You had the oil. You had the uh, the gas. It's all mixed together. So in other words, it was methane gas that caused the problem. It's methane gas that mm. comes up the cap uh, last month. Mm. It's methane gas in, in solid form that could once again come this procedure up. You have to compensate for all the high atmospheric effects, and that's what they're slow to do. But how do they get this shit down there, though? What? Like they got it? There's pipes and shit down there. What? What did they do? They, uh, they, well, how did they get? How did they build that thing? If they, if no one knows about five thousand feet things, how is there a five thousand foot destroyed structure at the bottom of the fucking Gulf? Building is not the problem. It's, it's all automated. It's, it's done by robots. Done by remote control. It's, it's pretty easy drilling these things. They can drill these things, per, you know, pretty much anywhere. The problem is you have a leaky fire hydrant, uh, a fire hydrant that blows mud, blows caps back to where you you started from. This leaky fire hydrant down there is a non-trivial problem. They thought they thought that what works at two hundred feet will work at five thousand feet. But the pressure there is so much different. It's like it's like having. <laughs> I it's think like it's, uh, 2,000 feet per square uh, pressure, pounds of pressure per square inch per second. <laughs> per second. second. Yes, that's the problem. That is the problem that people have always <laughs> neglected, and that's why it's killing them. The details are killing them right now. It's wow. like the Three Stooges running around. Chasing ah, that's what they, they call us. <laughs> like the Three Stooges. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Three Stooges tr running around trying to get the oil fixed and stuff. So, so yeah. evidently, Doctor, you don't know much about the 5,000 feet situation either. No offense. And I'm not trying to be... but. You you don't no, no, no. you don't know anything about it either. No no no, you missed the point. No no no, I didn't miss the point. Yes, Two hundred, five thousand. I'm saying. No no no, 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 you missed the point. The point is, a, right, we have it. to remove BP from leadership. Make them consult. No yes. no, you talk. We're talking about the issue at hand. We we're, we're not talking about. We're talking about the impact, not the the intent. You you talking about cure. The, we we we're talking about curing a cold that's in the future. I'm talking about. I got a cold right now. The cure for that? Do you do you know much about five thousand feet, two thousand square per inch pressure? Do you personally know how to deal with this kind of stuff? Do you know? No. What I know is that you have to bring in physicists who understand the mechanics of working at high pressure. This is a physics problem. Mm -hmm. It's not so much an engineering problem anymore. It's a physics. Well, problem. as a physicist, what do you think the solution is? Like I said, let me read this again. Let me read it again until I until people understand this. <laughs> Wait, just say you don't know. He's yelling at you. You're being so. You're being. This is sophistry, sir. You we, you're not saying you don't know. You refuse to go. I don't know. Just say I don't know. Problem. You have to bring in the top physicists. I agree. You're a top physicist. Analyze what the pressure is like. Otherwise, you run like a headless chicken. Yep. That's your question. What do you want to do? I don't fucking know. I'm just an asshole. I'm, I'm, you're amazing. I'm saying, do you? It, your mind is amazing. Is it, I'm saying, I'm not. I'm not indicting you. I'm saying, do you know? Or, or maybe uh, 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 Hawkins knows, or somebody. Let's be blunt about this. At the present time, nobody knows because we haven't assembled a team of top physicists who will then say this is not an engineering problem anymore. It's a physics problem. We have to work out how to get this thing working at 5,000 feet. Right. Okay? Right. Then, of the seven procedures that were tried, all of them working at 200 feet. Every single one will work at 200 feet. We have to figure out the best one, which will work at 5,000 feet. It takes study rather than running around like yes. a chicken saying, what was me, what was me, what was me. So as, well, they, they, they might, the top might not have the answer right that. now. He's saying they need to put together this think tank and uh, so figure this problem out right. with physicists because it is a uh, kind of a lot of things, well, a little bit of fluid dynamics, some pressure, temperature, all kinds of fun things that physicists like to talk about. Yes. Right. And like I said, nobody knows how to deal with it because they haven't assembled this top panel of people who will then take what works at 200 feet and extrapolate all the conditions that are different at 5,000 feet. That's why all seven procedures failed. And that's why right. it's foolish right now. They're making it up as they go along. This is incredible. Making it up as they go along. All right. Well, 
thank you, uh, Dr. Kaku. I mean, that's it, 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 hopefully they'll find some kind of solution for yeah, it. Absolutely. I mean, it, shit. When's, uh, when's the big show? Let's get that plug in for everybody again. Uh, well, you know, Sci-Fi Science is going into second season yep. starting September. Yep. Very good. We all watch. It's the number one new show on the Science Channel mm -hmm. and 12 new episodes. Oh, good. Uh, starting in September mm -hmm. of this year. Very excited. All right. Thanks, Dr. Kaku. Dr. Kaku, okay. thank you. Right. And Dr. Okay. Steve says hello. Yes. yes. Dr. Steve idolizes you, he so we're saying hi you. for him. He loves you, yes. Yep. Okay. All, All right. right. Dr. Michu Kaku, everyone. We're going to take a quick break and continue. Can I tell you why Dr. Steve text? Yeah, yeah please. <laughs> Ugh. All right. We get it. 200 <laughs> isn't 5,000 feet. <laughs> Dr. <I'm saying>. Steve <laughs> despises. Because <laughs> it's 2,000 pounds of pressure per inch. Yes. Sir, do you, sir, do you know? What, do you know what's going on? What I said, dum dum. What? I'm not. But no, you're I'm right. Your question, your question was fair. He's a smart Real man, though. Dumb, no, dumb. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a genius. But I'm saying, I kept asking, do you know? He he no. would not just go. No, he, but, I don't know shit. But he's saying we don't know yet. Like he says, you need to get him and a bunch of other these guys in a room and not BP executives and figure out. But he how wasn't to deal offering like what he might. But he was, yeah, yeah. he might know. Maybe that's he, valuable. Maybe he's holding out. Yeah, on yeah. Saying why are you going to do that? Yeah. yeah. Why save the Earth for nothing? BP is at a, in a position where they're probably monitoring the Opie and Anthony show for solutions. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <not his problem. laughs> oh, literal Jim. Doctor Kaku was not giving up that shit. Yeah, no. He Dr. wants to get paid for that shit. Ah. He's like, got the solution. He's winking at BP. Call me. Yeah. Call yes. me. Yes. I'll, I'll Nigga, take care get of this. paid for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. So the we can answer eat. is to not allow Jews to run everything. <laughs> <laughs> we'll break and continue with ah, Patrice O'Neill. Stay there. Got to ask Patrice about the perfect game thing everyone's talking about. Fucking Bud Selig, uh, uh, Selig, sorry. Why? Well, what's you guys? T I, I, I what, think. I think just just do the right thing and give the fucking kid the perfect game. Can't do just, it. Just fucking do it. Can't Who do gives it. a shit what has happened before? What's going to happen Protocol, in the future? I know, but you can't. You just can't. It's goddamn obvious to everybody. This this thing it's is not even close. This situation. This kid is a modder for change. That's uh, what it is. Uh, he's got to be thrown. Well, it's a fucking... modder for change. Yeah. Because baseball what are you, doesn't want to change. I don't. I hate baseball. But I, I like sports and I like human stories. Um, I'm, I'm a little angry at how easy Mr. Sad Ump was because he. <laughs> I think I think he did his. He, it was Jim self serving, Joyce. and and he got that guy. I'm pretty good at reading people. That guy does not have I'm sorry face. That big bicycle mustache. That he just. He, it's a only a douche wears that. But he knew how dangerous. That situation was if he had said said like fuck that. Oh, yeah, you don't think yeah. he wanted to say sorry? N no, dude. Did you hear how he said sorry? He wasn't like how they go contrite. This guy should have. He should at least been Michael Vick sorry. You know what I mean? Like head down, mm. show his face. I don't. I'm so sorry. He said what he said, but he had to. Mm. It was dangerous. But but this kid, the way he handled it, w w that high road thing. Well, yeah, okay, it's cool. But it it's a it's. It, he had to be a martyr. This kid's perfect game was a martyr for Change. changing that baseball game. He can't change it. He can't. He can't. Yeah, There's Jimmy, no precedent to do Patrice that. Patrice doesn't think, uh, think it should be changed. Uh, uh, oh, no, it absolutely should be changed. I, I, I disagree with the, the umpire not being this sorry because, honestly, he did really, like, I mean, the fact that he was weeping at home plate, like, <laughs> he, I, I, I believe that he knows, he, cause he knows how Why bad he looks doing that. just give the guy too. the day off? I, I mean, know, right? if someone deserved the day off, this Jim Joyce did. Yeah, he Why don't you take a day, day and get yeah, your, he better your thoughts he together? He better had, uh, <laughs> that, that's the same thing they said about the, uh, the Immaculate Reception, is that the ref really was like, he dropped that ball. But he, he just felt he didn't. Drop it. Uh, 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 fucking, what's his name? Frank the Franco Harris. Harris Franco one? Harris. Where it the, hit off the heel? Or yeah, the, the word, like, is that he, he, it hit. And the, and the ref knew, felt that it hit. And that fucker just felt the, the edge if he said it didn't, that his life was in the, this guy's life might have been in danger, this, 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 this Joyce guy. He, he had to say, f fuck that. I think they just just do it. Everyone wants it done. They, I'll tell you why they should reverse it because it's, 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 it's not like what there's twenty in history. It's not like a common thing. Yeah, it's there's it been twenty the out of how many? You want to do the math on how many games are pitched in baseball a year? Multiply that by how long baseball has been in existence, and that will tell you the rarity of throwing a perfect game. It's special, Although, and you you will never find a better example of how one play 
without doubt, without question, would have ended the game. Right. It's not like, well, there was a one out in the ninth where the next guy could have homered or oh, gotten right, a double. Right. This was the last out of the fucking Sometimes, game. you know what, fucking You're Bud a Selig, baseball fan, right? I, I, I hate them. I really do. I, I really do. I hate their guts because they should like this. I'm a fan, though. Yes and no. I have been my whole life. Well, but name, I've, name three of the guys who threw a perfect game. Uh, David Cohn, David Wells. Um, David Wells threw a perfect David Wells almost threw two in one season. He went to the first out of the seventh inning for, for the second one. How about one. Like the ones that number one and two? Oh, don't no idea. Like I'm, My point is, it's like... It's a it's a feat, uh, but I think this situation makes. I think I'd rather have the sympathy of getting fucked over. Fucked over, right? As this guy, yeah. yeah. He's Especially mar- if he's not in the ma- if he's a, if he ends up being a good pitcher, I'd rather have that sympathy of man. You know, he threw a perfect game if it wasn't for such and such and such, and being the reason that they now implement fucking uh, uh, what everyone yeah. else implements, which is 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 goddamn uh, technology yeah. to Kelly baseball. Pickler. He is more you know? famous more now. More importantly, yes. yeah, me and Anna just staring at more Kelly importantly, Pickler. Kelly Pickler is. Playing outside of Fox right you, now. All right, here's how stupid I am. When I walked into Fox, I'm like, "Who's for the band for?" And they're like, and, she, and the woman's like, "Kelly Pickler." I'm like, "Oh, uh, what kind of music does he sing?" <laughs> American uh, Idol broad. They must Kelly have been Pickler? like, "Oh, that's Jimmy is funny as hell." It's a woman. Uh, I didn't know. It was American, American Idol. Idol. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. There's always been There's something about her. But yeah, you're right. Man. I kind of like her, man. He'll be more you like famous her too. Than yeah, you like her too. Yeah, I think she's. Uh, it's pretty sad though. Who is? What's right. kind of, which she's, one is she's, she? She's she's performing on the street we park on every morning, and pe- and people are just walking by. Not much of a crowd for Kelly Pickler, but right down the block, uh, Justin Bieber. Is he done? I don't know. She had dreads, right? She was a runner-up. No, nah, this, she, she was, goes back a few years now. Three she or four was the years. Dunce. Okay. She was that dummy. Yeah, she's a stupid broad from a small little southern town. All right, so. Uh, someone is saying that uh, MLB offered to give the ump the the day off there. And he chose to come in. All right. Yeah, that's Patrice says blonde. no. Jimmy says yes. Absolutely. I say absolutely too. Mm. Just uh, I mean, I'm just sick of technicalities stopping people from doing the right thing. I, we all know what happened, and yet and yet they're finding reasons why. Well, what about what about how about this? You fucked up. They're fucking all, Detroit. They're fucking Detroit fans who sat through that game in that dog shit fucking city, and they watched the guy do something good. And it's like, you want baseball to be about more than just balls and strikes. Yeah. Well, in that case, it is, you fucking I, cunt. I, mm. And you do the right thing and say, look, and, and I'm also saying this doesn't set a precedent. Absolutely. I'm sorry, but I'm not acknowledging that this sets a precedent. I'm looking at this one lousy thing. I'm going to do the right thing. Plus, it would be great PR, like we said earlier, for Major League Baseball. And what about the pine tar incident? Great. They did the pine tar incident. They uh, redid it. They, yeah. With... The George Brett thing, uh, it was on TV last night, I think three, something like three, three and a half weeks later, they picked up the game right where that whole thing went down. So it has been done, and it it didn't set a precedent where everything changed after that? But was that an ump decision thing like this was? Oh yeah, it was. Someone goes, hey, George Brett's got too much fucking pine tar. Remember the the ump is sitting there like studying the bat for a while, then all of a sudden calls him out? George Brett was going to rip that guy's head off his body. But that Sealy kid, he just could not. Well, he's a cunt. He's, he's a worthless cunt. He, he might be. I don't like David he's, Stern either. I don't I don't like... Bud. Oh. Bud, <laughs> Bud is way worse. And I Bud is a I, I, don't, I don't like Goodell. I don't like... The, it's just an oligarchy type of thing. These guys mm. are, are... It's a power are, trip. They make me sick, all of them. Yeah. Uh, we shouldn't know of them. We shouldn't know who they are. Yeah, like, you true. never. You didn't know Tagliaboo... You know, and Roselle, Roselle, you didn't know, Tagliaboo, you didn't, like, because they just did good shit. That's true, yeah, It wasn't a bunch of stupid shit that they're always involved in. They didn't make it about them. It's about, That's what Bud is doing, making it about himself. But Bud can't do it, because now, just out of fun, now it's a thousand hours of 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 wrong call channel. It's the wrong call channel now. Where it's like, okay, bud, <laughs> you have call. to reverse this one too. And this one was really a home run and not a foul. He just can't do it. He's a pussy. Oh, this is the pine tar. Deep to right field. Three run homer, right? Holy cow! I don't no believe it. The scooter. That's a home run call right there. I don't believe. And Billy Martin now is coming out. Of course, of course he is. Look at that. Look at He's coming that. out with a drink. Look at that bat. I got back to the dugout and everybody's shaking my hand. And Is he talking about the uh, shit? I'm sitting in the dugout and someone says, <laughs> no. uh, they're checking your Richard's bat. I go, pants? what are they checking oh, it for? Oh. I don't have to fork my bat. I said, if they if they call me out, I'm going to kill somebody. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, he came running out of the dugout. 
They did that to Simon Monday. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, he, he, he wanted to rip the guy's head off his body. This is old school shit. The umpires ruled that Brett had too much pine tar on his bat, and the home run was taken away. The inning was over, and the Yankees won. <laughs> Shit. But the umps were overruled, and three weeks later, 1,200 fans showed up at Yankee Stadium for the completion of the game. 1,200. <laughs> Brett's homer made the score five to four, but the Yankees appealed that Brett had not touched all the bases. Oh, yes, sir. he did, said the umps, who presented Billy Martin with a signed statement from the original umpires to prove it. Oh, oh shit. shit! Martin was yeah. reading that as he was driving. That was the problem. <laughs> wouldn't so, a, wouldn't they, a lot they, of pine tar mean it would it would be detrimental to George Brett if it was a whole bunch well, of sticky shit on I his back? I think even worse wasn't the pine tar too high up too the, high up the up bat, the bat yeah, yeah. where he's not even holding the yeah. bat, it, which I guess would give you some traction on the ball hitting the bat. Is that what they're talking some, about? Yeah, instead, tar? instead of slipping off. Like one side of the bat, you'd, you'd probably get a little more oh, okay. leeway. Oh, all right. I'm not sure. I'm talking my ass over so you, here. So you're, I'm just thinking. You're right, so you're thinking. Hey, hey. The, yeah. You got a microphone in front of you. That's true. And Everything I say is, is true because I have a mic. So you think you think that this thing is 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 uh, relative to the to the perfect game? So the, the George, you're saying the George Brett no, decision I think it's totally different. is the same as the perfect game decision? No, they're just bringing that up. They're but I'm saying, up, is it the same uh, I, I don't know. Thing? I, uh, Something was changed, and it didn't set a precedent where every single thing was going to be overturned. People would give a slippery slope argument when they have nothing else. And they would say, oh. well, what's gonna, th then he's going to have to start doing all but, of these... Uh, Every call yeah, no, is going to be that, but, but what well, did they determine with the George Brett uh, pine They overruled tar the ump. Why did they overrule? I don't know. Maybe they said what that they, they were incorrect or that the uh, that shouldn't. I don't Travis, do you know the exact reason? I really don't. Yeah, they overruled it because even though there is a rule about uh, any substance, including pine tar, being 18 inches above the, the end of the bat, mm -hmm. there's no specific penalty. Oh, so, so you can't say take away his home run. Exactly. So it's the umpire's prerogative. And so the Royals appealed that decision. Oh, okay. And they won. So in this case, so the rules state that if you step on the bag after the ball has arrived, you're fucking out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Bud Sealing is a twat. <laughs> I, I hope he grabs his chest and falls face first into a fucking urinal. I hope that's how he dies. I hope he dies with his fucking tasting urinal mint. Uh, <laughs> Carlton, sucker. Carlton from, from the Bronx, a little more on the, Brett, uh, the George Brett thing. That wasn't pine tar in. He had no. a sloppy diarrhea shit. Uh, he was just kind of wiping see, his hands I off on the back. <laughs> that bet was oil from the uh, the oil spill. He was putting his bat in there trying to clog it up with something, you know? <laughs> People are obsessed with Michu Kaku. Uh, <laughs> By the way, the only laugh I ever got on a Kaku was as Chip. Yes. Uh, yeah, he <laughs> That made you very happy, too. I saw that, Jimmy. <laughs> Let's, uh, who, who's this on line two? Hello. You, sir. Hello? Yeah, Hi. you. Go ahead. What's up? Oh, uh, yeah, I just want to tell y'all you need to quit sucking uh, Michu Kaku's dick, and, and I'll tell you why. All right, okay. I, I don't doubt that the man is highly intelligent, but I get the impression he's about as wise as one of the peanuts in my shit, because... Uh, oh, Chip. Two... Wait, did you... Uh, sir? Hey, sir? Hey, you, got, you got the two rivals, right? You got religion. Wait, wait, sir. Your phone crapped out. He's as wise as what? Oh, yeah, you, you, we didn't hear you. You got religion and you got science. No, no what, what did you say before that, yeah. buddy? Sorry, you said he's as wise as what? Like, yeah, he, we didn't what? hear. He's, he's about as wise as one of the people. We heard you! <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe my great line. They didn't hear it. All right, well, I'll, I'll repeat it. For All right, sir, so you just keep talking. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. The religion and science thing. Go I ahead, go. You're, you're up, sir. Go. Point, go. Look, what they're doing is, yes. is that the science they're fooling with is <laughs> crossing over into the realm of religion. Because yes. Faith -based. Yay. They, they got so much faith in their mathematical equations and, and shit that they're going to try and create a mini Big Bang and a fucking super collider. That shit's fucking crazy. I know. There's and no you're saying it so scientifically. Yeah. There's, there's no reason for it, though. It's just to satisfy their curiosity and they can fuck something up. Yeah, satisfying humanity's curiosity has never gotten us anywhere. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, it has definitely, Ant. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, the super cloud, they're trying to learn about the beginning of time. I think that does have some importance. For what? For what? For what? I don't know. I've never actually know. had to explain to somebody why the beginning of time might be important <laughs> to know about. 
<laughs> Are you one of those guys who just thinks that you're like a real brass balls talent like it is type of guy? Hey, I got my meat, my potatoes. That's all I care about. Hey, <laughs> shut up. For what? It's the whole reason we're here. <laughs> Blithering so, idiots. So there's a curiosity. To, hey, to, what do I know? Right? I cash my check. I have a bag. I don't know nothing. <laughs> hey, hey, time schmime. Hey, it's eight o'clock. Hey. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, don't, don't you think that there are some questions that don't need to be answered? No, I don't, well, sir. To answer your idiotic question, <laughs> yes, that one didn't need to be answered. <laughs> you know what, though? That's, that's an interesting thing. But, okay, what, what questions need to be answered? I don't know how to fucking feed ourselves, how to fix Exactly. It. Mr. Meat and Potatoes. Mr. Tells it like it is. Everyone's trying to have fun and but he's got to no, go, hey, there's no historical. This? There's no historical anything that, that you're curious about? The Big Bang isn't interesting? You Where sound like a thinking from? guy. Is the, how are they going to figure out how the fucking Big Bang happened? It's going to be on a tiny scale. But I mean, I'm saying it's interesting. Wait. It, they, it's they, interesting to under, just to, just that is. There's people out there trying to figure it out, and Look you at, you wonder, yeah. don't you? Don't you so wonder how things work on an atomic level? Why? All right, no, you no, don't. wait! You're not answering, <laughs> sir. You you being, <laughs> sir. You being, you're double talking. We're saying he, he's like uh, the idiot yes, version of meet you, Kaku. What? what but it, you know what? The why is a very good question. Why? In no, the end. I don't wow. want to know. It's not. Good. So there you go. He's, he doesn't want to know personally. He doesn't want to know. Right, but what? Cool. So what's? So what's interesting to you? What's interesting? A lot of shit. I like I like the natural world. I like being outside and looking at shit and observing stuff. But I don't need to pick it apart. You sound like a well-spoken Down syndrome. So person. you just <laughs> so you just see something, right? Say there's a bird, and if you're in nature, you just go bird. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'll, look at it, I'll observe it, but if you look at something long enough, you'll figure it out. You don't need to be picking at shit. And and I'm just saying this whole super collider business is not. Let me let me say something. Let me say something that I think is interesting. It takes a million years for the for the heat that's in the sun to come from the mid, from the core of the sun mm -hmm. to where it's actually heat takes a million fucking years. Get the fuck out of here! Isn't that interesting? That's pretty. Where'd you read that? Fucking I haven't seen that on a placemat yet. Yeah. So what do you talk yeah. about on a date? Does, does that change the way we No, I know, no. but I'm saying, no, the, the thing is, isn't that just so, wait, interesting wait. for the, the interesting warmth, things? The warmth we're feeling today. The, the Whatever the proton shits is, it, right. there's some okay. shit wait. in the sun no. that comes from the sun. All right, all right? Just so you don't but try to meet you cockle me, there's shit in the sun that takes a million years so, to get the fuck out. So break it down. The warmth we're feeling today started a million it's years ago. It's some old shit. Some old shit. It's a million year old <laughs> warm shit. Hey, it's an interesting trivia fact, but that's all it that's is. That's what I'm saying. Isn't it interesting? I think sure, it's interesting. What's, what's your favorite movie, movie, sir? Yeah, what's your favorite movie? Uh, I don't know. I guess Glory. Why? It's historical. Jesus you don't need to know Christ. about that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? That answers everything. Bunch of black people dying. <laughs> Bunch of crying and <laughs> niggas dying and niggas crying. <laughs> I was nine years old at the time, so it, it impacted me differently. I don't really have a, a new uh, favorite movie, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's fair. It's, I mean, no, it's an interesting conversation, dude, but it's, I mean, some things are interesting. The All more right. things you learn, sir, the, it, we've learned a lot from exploring space. We've learned that we've got a lot of uh, inventions, and as far as space travel is concerned, the more that we know about space, the more we know about time travel, the easier it's going to be to eventually venture out. But we're in the exploration stage now. Nah, that's cool. Fair enough, but time travel isn't even fucking real, so they need to get off. Yes, it is. Okay. You, you can't, whether you like it or not, you see, the Hubble telescope, not that this would be interesting to a man of your ilk, but the <laughs> Hubble telescope was built because they wanted to attempt to see the Big Bang. They wanted, or, or the beginning of time. And right. you can look back in time in a way. When you see the sun, you are technically looking back in time by eight and a half minutes because that light left the sun. If the sun blew up, we would see a lovely circle for eight and a half more minutes before we saw the explosion. Just so you like, are seeing in the past. Just like a, a fucking star that's like whatever, a mil, a t millions of light years away, that light yeah. is a fucking million years old. Right. The just stomach. getting there. That's just Check interesting. It doesn't mean anything, but it's fucking interesting. But you think it's bullshit, right, dude? Yeah, and look, as far as time travel goes, I think we can't even get uh, atoms to stop spinning around. How are you going to get them to fucking spin backwards 
and fucking see where they <laughs> were. backwards. But again, so we, 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 we keep trying these things, and we'll figure it out. What do you think? We're just going to have a book on it? We, we kind of have to try trial and error. Yeah, we got cell right. phones now. And, and, think and about in the, that. In the process, we're going to blow shit up and fuck. Uh, you know what, I mean? what are we doing with this? This is a... If man was meant to fly, g- he'd have wings kind of guy. This is, this is every guy who says six to one, half a dozen of the other. Right. <laughs> All right. Look, I'm not going to fuck anyone. Uh, just let me tell you all, I love you guys. Patrice, you're the fucking man. And, uh... Push up and meet you, dick. All right, thank All right, you. I'm sorry. Go watch fun. Glory. Well, exactly. we, we got another guy just like him, though. Mark in New Jersey. Mark? Hey, guys. This, uh, this whole th- oil slick thing, it reminds me about the uh, movie Armageddon. How they keep saying that they got to bring in uh, the special... <laughs> I've seen fucking smoother delivery in hostage videos. Do you have a rifle pointed at you? <laughs> Do you need help? Hello, Akbar. Did you want us to call someone for you? Jesus Christ. He's a little nervous. All right. You, all right let's, let's get his fucking... Uh, uh, let's get his bearings. Right. <laughs> you notice it's, it's scary just to, When Steve calls me and you want to come in, I'm like, shit. I'm scared. Also, <laughs> also get a little anxiety, yeah, right? Yeah, like, I think I'm scared. <laughs> you fucking guys! Blood are pressure goes up <laughs> slightly, right? I'm Holy nervous for this shit. guy. <laughs> what All right, the good point fuck? with this guy. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, so our, our apologies. Go right ahead, Mark. Try again. Yeah, I'm punching out, guys. The uh, moment's kind of ruined now. It's all right, Josh. It's not a, <laughs> no, come on. Well, come on. It's not an oh, orgasm. No. It's a fucking oh, point. Come because on. Because the moment's yeah. kind of ruined. Let's, you could do it, buddy. Yeah, yeah, let's try it again. Come on. We're sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if they go with the nuke thing. All right, to the point. <laughs> I hope uh, they find that the remote detonator doesn't work. In Ma- we don't know what you're talking about, so you're not being clear. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy, you're the worst. <laughs> Fucking guys. Jesus. <laughs> what, the fuck? Go ahead, what do you uh, just elaborate a little on what you mean? It has uh, the nuke and the oil. Yeah, I, I mean I know you actually do yeah. have a valid point. <laughs> He's gone. <No. laughs> Why can't he just go with a joke? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm was, joking with you. Jimmy was being so mean. Uh, to him. But I was just kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> You just go, you just go, oh man, you come in just a little off, it's just, <laughs> and so you got a caller, it just is like, hey guys, you know, and this is, it's oh, so shit. fucking, it's stressful. Oh, <laughs> you, it, it you know is. what, fuck These them. These fuckers are stressful. You walk into the comedy cellar wearing the wrong pair of shoes and you're going to get attacked all night for it That's too. what's funny is that you just, you just don't, you just forget that this is what we fucking practice doing every second of the day is being uh, horrible. Uh, this fucking guy. We got one that wants to talk to Jim. Jim, not oh. happy. Oh, no. Not happy. Uh-oh. Angus. Yeah. Uh-oh. You sound not unhappy. Happy. By the way, good I'm opening not, to the call. It's, it's all good. Talk to Michio Kaku. And time travel isn't possible. It's not going to be possible. You have to find more en- energy than, than exists in the universe for it to be possible. I think, that, honestly, I, I, I'm, right now it's not possible. I think Stephen Hawking, hold on, I think Stephen Hawking said that he didn't think it was possible to go back, but he thought it might be possible to go forward. Yeah. Through, through some sort of work. I don't know what the process, obviously. Because technically, if you go back before whatever uh, method was invented, it didn't exist yet. So you, you basically create a paradox by going back. But there's no law, at least in the theory of relativity, that you can't go uh, forwards in time. Yeah, so, so you Stephen probably Haw- can't go back. So sorry, it's not really me. It's Stephen Hawking thinks that it might somehow be possible. It is it, okay, it's possible. It, 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 it. Have a great day, guys. Bye. All right. <laughs> what? What's going on today? I love it. All right. What Holy is going shit. On today? They're retarded. Can I ask a question? What, in, in, let's say the people that lived in 1400. Yeah. What what thing now would you would be like time travel to them? Like where it, it's, it's like fucking like this is it would be like oh shit jet aircraft. <laughs> When you look up at a fucking 747, yeah. or you're in one, looking out the window, that is inconceivable to somebody back then. Well, how about just can... a wheelbarrow without fucking bodies piled up in it? <laughs> 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 or a pussy that doesn't stink, <laughs> but it's actually shaved. We're still, we're still working on that, that problem. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about space, though, is... The, the, the... How about us sitting here together and me not bossing you around? <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Oh, Jimmy! Oh shit! Uh, Hey, you know the phones are going well. Why don't we do another one here? (laughs) Oh yeah, they're really going well. All right, let's go to uh, Crotch Critter. Crotch Critter. Oh 
great. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> You're up. <laughs> you called. <laughs> Not her up. Anyway, Mitchell Cocker is a dumbass talking about the, the, you know, blowing up a nuclear bomb down there. It doesn't matter about the cave or the, the, the uh, glass crystal thing. Anyway, when you blow something up like that, you're going to create radioactive oil that's going to come to the surface, get on the beaches, then what the fuck are you going to do then? Um, not go to the beaches? Yeah. There but, we go. Thank you. But didn't Michio Kaku say that? Yeah. Oh, uh, Danny, you don't have to type that out. Say it, yeah. I was just saying how I love how all these radio show listeners are saying that a genius, professional, theoretical physicist is an idiot and doesn't know anything. Yeah, he's <laughs> I mean, an idiot. They're sitting in their trucks listening to the Opie and Anthony show, <laughs> criticizing him. <laughs> <laughs> that is <a> fucking... <laughs> that is true. Motherfuckers, man. But you know what, though? I always feel like there's, there's some people just who just have a diff this different kind of intelligence. Some people read a lot of books and just just say the book they... they I read this book and this yeah, is... Yeah. But there's some people who just have common sense. and But look, double talk is double talk. Fucking Kaku is a double talker. And, and and he's an intelligent guy. That mayonnaise yeah. theory about oil is fucking... <laughs> the mayonnaise I mean, theory. And he broke it down to layman's terms. Well, so he, he has the he ability to that, do that. Yeah. Yeah, he, he used cartoons one day when we, we, we were talking uh, about something. That's an amazing something. thing. That's how I, I only understand with fucking analogies. If yeah, you don't yeah. use an analogy, <laughs> I don't understand you. He, he was perfect. But still, <laughs> he was double talking. A qu answer the question is answer the question. Sir, what, how big is the sun? See, that's what I'm saying, dummy. Like, nigga, <laughs> yeah. do you know or you don't know? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Kaku? <laughs> right. You want to move on to other things? Ah, uh, shit. Now, uh, we did the 911 audio yesterday. Uh, but she's a cunt. Oh, she sucks. Uh, yeah, yeah. By the way, I, I retweeted so you as the adult Gary Coleman or the uh, oh, you that saw video that you made. Yeah, yeah, what was yeah. it called again? It made I me laugh so fucking remember. hard. I was supposed to be a uh, Gary Coleman, and I took I took medicine and got bigger. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I, it was a while ago. It was, it was very funny. Uh, but we, you didn't hear the nine one one call where she didn't want to get involved because she. I didn't hear the nine one one call, but I saw the TMZ uh, stuff. It, she's a she's, she's hateable. Just, we did the audio I, from the I, TV. I think she's guilty. Of I think she whacked him with a frying pan. I, I, my, I my belief, that. too. You, you truly believe that? Yeah. Yeah, she has all the uh, all the, the, the uh, earmarks of somebody that did something wrong and is trying to not look like they did something wrong in interviews. And the 911 call seemed weird. Like, it's one of those things where it would end up on one of those cop shows, the crime shows, and a detective would be like, it just was something I didn't like about the situation, so I looked a little into it and started uncovering things and followed my hunch, and, and then you just see her in the orange jumpsuit being led into the courtroom. But I don't think they, they could, she couldn't have hit him or did anything like that. Push him me. down the stairs? or Maybe push Gary down the stairs? Yeah, yeah. Well, but she's saying she was upstairs, she was upstairs and, he was, and downstairs. he was downstairs. That's how it ends up after you push someone down exactly. the stairs. Yeah. She just shows no emotion. The way she She's is, you hope. trying to explain herself before anyone's even asking her any fucking questions. But you know what? Let's, be, let's be honest. We are in a world, right? Where in a world. In a world. In a world. We are in a world where every channel has something where you get caught. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, so if, 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 if my girl passed out the fir in my house, the first thing I'd be doing is going, oh, shit. Don't think I did anything. I did not. She yeah. fell, bumped her head, or something. Like, I'd be so nervous. I might incriminate myself where it was no crime. She, right. Because she's just, she's dumb as a doornail, dude. Like, she's dumb. <laughs> this girl, this is the, uh, you know. I, you she know. is dumb. She's, she's nice no Michu Kaku. That might be why, you know. I you, just, think, you think maybe? I think there's something more to this. Something a little she suspicious. She fucking pulled the plug on him in a second, too. Yeah. Well, the doctor said he's bleeding, and he would have kept bleeding. And, well, how about you let him try to stop the fucking... For more than two days. Who pulls the plug on life, two days? He was on yeah. life support for two days. Two days. And she said he ended up being like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. 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 <laughs> how great is that He line? wasn't... He wasn't... I don't think he was... <laughs> Muhammad uh, Ali's all there. He just can't communicate. <laughs> like, I don't think they... They didn't consider it's him brain different. dead, did they? She like, wasn't even allowed to pull the plug. Dude, yeah. that hospital's despicable. She was like, well, they're saying that she was, though. I don't want him waking up and fucking Even though saying, they weren't married, Jesus she was Christ. allowed to. This Why? I don't know, but that's some... Uh, we can find the statement. What are you talking about, Yeah, they're covering their ass now. 
<laughs> Do you want to play the 911 audio again? Oh, please. Because Patrice hasn't it. heard it? It just doesn't please. sound. She's horrible. Something just doesn't sound kosher. All right, we could do that again. I, I like would this. love for her to go to jail, though. Yeah, and just get raped with a broom handle. <laughs> everybody was a was a moment of it was a moment of why I think it's a moment everybody was was thinking <laughs> just eating we're like I think we did all like, vision and like, that's a little harsh <laughs> and then you go in woman's prison jeez right. mm, yeah. oh, they're harsh in there <laughs> they just, chained heat when they just lick each other's bodies <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Are they violent in the? They, they fall in love in women's prison. Yeah, they really do. It's a totally they get like different vibe. a wife wife situation. They, they try so hard to make women's prison MSNBC How as great interesting. Is that? No. It just ain't. It it's isn't. It's great to watch it's, though. It's, a, it's beautiful to watch. On a weekend, you have nothing else going on. You're like, I'll get myself a little news. You go to MSNBC and they got that shit on. But You're not watching. The women, not the women's. Not the women's. The I've watched a few of the women's. The women's one, a you know, dikey, missing but fear. Yeah. It, it, this, right. They're talking about great relationships. They're like, well, we've been together ever since, you know, I was incarcerated. Yeah. And we just, we, we talked about our about children the, and, and we worked together. the young one together. that comes into the fucking prison yeah, it's, it's, you know, on a not meth fucking show them, charge. They're not going to show them There's all hot programs. Fucking, they're, they're all pregnant. It's a, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot, <laughs> yeah. it's some family shit going on. Yeah. But in, in men, all the men, all men, they show pictures jankings. of fucking CO2 attack. It's like... They had one in Colorado, dude. It, it, the Colorado Max was the best one ever. Yeah. Uh, with the two twin brothers, one fought every day, and they and they oh. they finally conquered him with CO two gas. Finally, <laughs> and he had a brother who was the king of like making. He had cheese. He had <laughs> he had sausages. <laughs> it, and, and how do you have cheese? He's a, we'll have sandwiches, dude. It, it was, it, it, you know, men's prison did is they explain how he made the cheese? unbelievable. How did, how no, did, he gets you. You have um. Oh, he had it smuggled in. Yeah, he gets uh, and he, and he gets his his, his, his also commissary. They, they make a lot of that stuff, and he makes this cheesy um fish stew. Yeah, that everybody wants horrible. to buy from him, and wow. he, he buys double cheeseburgers, and he's just the prison guy. And his brother is a fucking maniac that no one wants to fuck around with. And they and it's it's scary. Yeah, men's prison is scary. Yeah, that's the scary. Women's prison is like this is cute. They they're, play cards. No one's watching their back. Yeah, yeah. They're just in a play, and they're all in love, <clears throat> dude. It's <laughs> they take a wife. <laughs> There's no, and you never see. Uh, piss attacks in women's prison. Like, there's no piss attacks. No one's throwing shit at you. Yeah, the cert team doesn't have to like fucking go in there with the shields, the taser shields, <laughs> and fucking Who get that job. Vomit <laughs> thrown at him. The first guy with the shield. Now that's going first. What did that guy do wrong He's in a life? Motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's yeah. Just, you're gonna be the shield guy today, right? You're gonna women, be the main guy. Women's prison. <laughs> right. It's just too. It's too cute. Even yeah. even women's everything on MSNBC that's woman is just it's a little too yeah it's a little too like fucking wonderful yeah the men shit is uh wow that's bad that's just fear <laughs> you're right the element of oh, fear very good there. there's very... a talking lobster on television I've never it's on CNBC I've never seen a redder man Can you go to was, a tanning booth for the big TV <laughs> appearance <Exactly. laughs> What the fuck? He was either, his eyes are white. Yeah, uh, he was either out in the sun too eyes. long, or yeah. he's got BP stock in his entire portfolio, <laughs> and that's his blood pressure. Yes, he's ready to explode. He was on vacation. He was late. He had to catch a flight from Venus. Dude, <laughs> you would adjust your TV set. Yeah, you would yeah. be like, "Wow, my fucking red is out of control." Wow, give the guy a little makeup. <laughs> oh, I hate TV. I I've hate never it. seen a man who had a worse sunburn than that guy. <laughs> fuck I hope it hurts bad. too. <laughs> you just want to smack his uh, cheek. I want to. I want to crack his face so hard. There's a white handprint in it. <laughs> so that's the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he might be a drinker. Maybe he passed yeah. out in the sun or something. He's a little boozy. Yeah. Put his sunglasses on. You know it's mm. warm if you hold his face. You know how you get sunburn your face and oh, head are warm. Hot. Yeah. Can we uh, get Kelly Pickler on the show today? She's right across the street. You have to um, you drag her in bodily. You think she's coming up here after uh, the big oh, Fox yeah, thing? Yeah, I'm sure. No, oh, like, not, not that, for our show, I but I mean other shows. Some ice cream truck every day. Yeah, this is like this is our hood. Our hood. Our hood, man. 
No one's watching her, by the way, I don't think. No, they're That's all watching That's what I'm saying. You Justin can see people Bieber. walking by on the sidewalk. Look, just a couple people walking Why by. Why would she pick the day that uh, Bieber's uh, right down the road? They, oh, my God, look at that slob. They literally are showing no people there. Mm, yeah, there's nobody that there. That was awful. <laughs> Why would you compete against Justin Bieber? Should he go stand in the Gulf? Beaver. Try to sing next to the oil. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid bitch. That's depressing, too. That looks depressing. <laughs> okay, yeah. why don't we get... We're going to do some prison shit now. Oh shit, We went yo. down this road. It's Gary in Richmond. Gary. Patrice is, by the way, Patrice is fucking... Is doodling right now like fucking Viking from Bad Boys. Fucking <laughs> 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 Tweety, man. Tell me Clancy Brown is the most underrated anything ever. Guy's great God in everything damn it. he's in. Who is he? Fucking... <clears throat> that's, 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 that guy. I mean, he was in Shawshank. Oh, that guy, yeah. Yeah. Shoot. What, what, what's the prison? Yeah, let's go to Gary. He's got something on the prison shows. Gary. Hey. Uh, hey, guys. Um, I was watching one of the uh, lockdown shows, and they were talking about the tattoo artists and things like that in prison, and it's not allowed. And two of these guys, I guess, had too much free time on their hands, and they decided to tattoo the whites of their eyes. Uh, different colors. So one of these guys had like uh, devil red and blue and purple and all this kind of stuff. And um, oh, seems like uh, they're a little hardcore. In Colorado, they, how yeah. do you tattoo your eyes? But here's the, here's you the thing about hurts? authority. You think that hurts? Yes. yes. <laughs> it, it, here's the thing about authority. First of all, they make the ink out of burned up materials and and uh, and ink ink pens and no baby oil and burn shit. So that the, makes soot. Oh, okay. What about the big pen? Don't they use they that? They make somehow? that as a needle. They use that right, as right, the right. as the as the thing. But here's the here's the the people who are in charge, like the authority figures. They're on this quest in the show to find out who 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 did this. They have to find this out because it's gonna be detrimental to to the prison society. Right. Like like and their thing is oh you can get AIDS and hepatitis. It's like really you can get a fucking toothbrush stabbed in your chest and broken <laughs> off too. Like like who get, just let him tattoo his fucking eyes. He's in jail for forty to life. Yeah. Forty to life. But the guy's tattooed the the fucking white parts of their eyes. What if he gets out in forty, he's never gonna get a job. I know. <laughs> Halloween I'll probably, everybody, everybody wanna hire him. He'll have yeah, one day of work. <laughs> Every year. Yeah, he looks forward to that day though. Yeah, what do I do? Just you put your arms up and go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll give you seventy five thousand dollars. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> I, I I was watching a show that is is All right. uh, oh, having, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, to be inserted into his eye. Hi, you okay? Mm -hmm. Just relax. Oh, how do you uh, relax? Well, you can feel the actual needle going in. There's something cold being placed onto your eyeball. Ah, uh, fuck, okay, I can't watch this shit. Nope. After two needle squirts in Quill's left eye, Tapping. they stop and review. Tapping. There's no rush. <laughs> One false move and Quill could be left in the dark. The likelihood of complete blindness is a real risk because oh, when you take an instrument Get and poke it, here. perforate it into one's eye, you can cause a severe oh. infection, not only bacterial, you can cause viral infections, detachment of the retina, bleeding, hemorrhage, and per permanent loss of vision. Really? Oh, I thought God. it was healthy. Look toward your nose and see it. There oh, you go. wow. It's so shiny. I hope that's what you're looking for. Yeah, it looks like you got belted in the fucking <laughs> eye. It's too late now. Quill isn't deterred by the risk or the cross-eyed impression of two eyes in the same socket. Wow. Howie's only concern is if his patient moves, even twitches, at a critical moment. What an idiot. If Quill were to raise his head up, either while my needle is inserted or just before, um, that would be a big problem. Just stop because it. the needle could go doing? in his eye. Howie enters fuck. Quill's eye for the second time. Enters his eye. This time to the white area to the left of the iris. The syringe distributes pigment like ink from a fountain pen. Oh, good. As it spreads, it closes in on Quill's iris. Ink from a fountain If it overlaps the iris, it could affect his eyesight no forever. This Fortunately, is everything is going according guy, to plan. The guy, the tattoo artist, he was really like still, so I was no. able to get a feel for that really tight, thin layer that I was going for. Now, once I hit that, I knew that I could move around. Ah, oh, fuck While this. having a needle inserted in one's uh, eye looks painful, Quill insists that he felt no discomfort at all. Oh, no, huh? If you were to say to someone, 
you know, imagine what it feels like to put a needle into your eye. It wouldn't feel like that. Yeah, it's looking very good. That's full demon. <laughs> At a later date, maybe we would put, you know, one small one down here, depending on spread. Yeah, yeah. While happy with the result, Howie and Quill have decided not to proceed with the second eye today. It was not really easy to get in there, to be honest with you, but um, it took it well to spread well. God they want to monitor the first eye for any side here. effects before tattooing the second. What a psycho. This is Quill so returns stupid. home with one black eye to a nervous eye wife and mother-in-law. His wife has to see that. Just do it. Cool. Oh, God. I like it. It's going to spread some more, though, isn't it? Yeah. Just settle down. Mm -hmm. How you doing? You want to run away? I don't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted honesty, didn't you? It's freaking me out a bit, but I'll get his used to it. His mother's oh, ugly. Oh. That's why he tattooed his eyes. <laughs> no, wait, look at his wife and mother. He's hoping to go blind so the mother won't look at him anymore. Just put an actual so pen in my face. Put, <laughs> take my sight, please. Oh, please. Yeah, please. I don't want to no look at her down. anymore. Oh, just stick a Sharpie right in my eye. Two black eyes. He is crazy looking. Jesus. Why would you? What why? I don't know. He's got giant hoop earring. He's a fucking psycho. Yeah, he is. How is he going to get a nine person. to five job? Now? That's a mental patient. <laughs> that guy's a mental patient. It's like he's dressed like a stockbroker to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in prison for cutting somebody's throat. Oh God. <laughs> let's uh, let's go to Steve, who's uh, yes. arguing Hello. that shield man is the best job to have. I say it's got to be a nightmare. Go ahead, Steve. No, that's the best job to have because usually if you got to do a real hard cell entry. They're usually throwing piss and shit and semen and everything else at you. So at least shield man. So how do you get your mouth open with the shield? <laughs> <laughs> Wasting all that goodness. Exactly. Everybody else gets the treats. <laughs> yeah, but you get it all on. You can lick your shield later. Oh, that's true. It's like, it's like the beaters after they're making fucking cake. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm punching out. All right, buddy. All, all righty. Right. We should take a break. I see Carrot Top outside the studio. It was. Um, I, oh yeah. Okay. I'll go. Go in. I'm sorry. That was a, a show that. That was on last night. Um, it, I think it's having the opposite effect that it's supposed to. It's called uh, like fugitive stories or something like that. You ever see this one? Mm -hmm. It's a uh, it it's a recreation based on what happened during a a, a chase, like the the bank robber. This guy last night was a bank robber, and he'd robbed banks for years, and it kind of went through his career as a bank robber and stuff. It looked so cool. It made me want to like rob banks. Wow! It doesn't. It, it and I've seen another one that was, was like, so cool. "Wow, this guy's being chased and he's being clever and getting away from the, the cops." And, and it's like, is this this is a, like, a syndicated show and it comes on any channel at a weird time? You got to yeah, catch yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not. Like yeah, it's Tuesday like fugitive at five with, you know. chronicles or fugitive some stories or whatever the fuck it's, it's called. The people who got away and they only got caught. For like, by the, they fucked up a, a yeah, little they bit. Fuck up somewhere, you it's know. Fugitive Chronicles. It's good. It's a good show. It's funny that you say yeah. you want to rob banks. Smart thing to say after you buy a fifty cal. Well, I don't think <laughs> I don't think they've been using a lot of bank robberies. <laughs> to tell you the truth, you probably shoot through the vault with it. Though you got to load that like a musket. <laughs> <laughs> How many bullets does that hold? Ten rounds, uh, semi-automatic. So you can boom, bop, 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 bop. you can shoot those missiles. Oh yeah, ten rounds, real quick. Cool. The cl you could just take the, the the magazine out of it and beat someone with the magazine, and that would put them out. Yeah. It has nothing to do are with you, even shooting the weapon. Are you shooting it this weekend? Uh, yeah, I have plans. Now let me ask you something. Are you a little nervous to shoot it for the first time? Because we've seen some of the videos online. It's nah, pretty the intense. Eagle, the eagle was like the yeah, one that, where I was like, oh, oh, oh. so you're not nervous? Oh. You no, no. I, I think it'll be, be good? fun. I'm excited. All right, why don't we break? We got Carrot Top outside the studio. All right, cool. Get him in here next. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do the Gary Coleman audio. Too busy today, Patrice. Very busy day. We can squeeze it in. We'll try to squeeze I'll, it in. I'll fucking listen somehow. All right. Well, I will and me and you will sit in the truck later make love. Hey, we haven't given uh, Patrice O'Neill any plugs yet today. First of all, Big Mama Prods on Twitter. He's another good one to follow, this Patrice O'Neill. Big Mama Prods. And then uh, Patrice is going to be doing the comedy shop at Suppas, S-U-P-P-A, apostrophe S. You look depressed. Suppas Restaurant in Pinebrook, New Jersey. It's like that movie, I'm going to eat you supper. Supper. Friday and Saturday, you're going to be there, right? Oh, Do yes, your thing, Patrice. You did uh, so say you, that. I like did. Chip. Tonight, I tonight's just, tomorrow, I, one show tonight. Oh, right. Tonight's the fourth. Wow. Okay. Jackie the Joke Man will be there next week. Yeah. All right. yeah. Jackie invited us to play a little golf, and you get that email? Oh, yeah. A little charity event. I didn't get that one. 
I think in July he wants us to do a little golf. What's the, there was there was there was an event. Golf. Which is his, his event? Is it the same one? Uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> I try to, I try to hold back. I waited I, I one wanted, beat too long. You really did. I was going to ask if it was the same one that was happening at Caroline's. My eyes locked on to yours. I'm like, all right, you tonight, motherfucker. Tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. Uh, we'll you're going to do fine at uh, Caroline's. 212-757-4100 for Jim Norton tickets. With that, we say hi to Carrot Top oh, entering the studio. Right, right, right. How are you? Good, good. How's it going? What's hey, up, thanks, brother? Sir. Good, good. Oh, good. Good to see you. Yeah, doing great. How you doing? Nice. What's going on, man? All right. Yeah, just good to see you. Yeah. Studio. Huh? Yeah. The, every other every other fucking year we have another studio. I was counting the studios in New York. One, we're up to like yeah, five studios we're, in New York right alone yeah. already. Jesus. So, that we've uh, broadcasted in, right? Yeah. XM, K Rock, here, NEW. Maybe four, whatever. Yeah, too Fucking many. Matters. Too many is right. Too many god DM. Huh? A lot of porn stores too. I was walking here. See, you like the yeah, porn? Yeah. St- okay. There are not many porn store uh, stores you know anymore. Carrot Top. No. They're pushing I them saw, out to the uh, out really? to the outside. I saw enough of them. <laughs> Oh, really? Uh, like I 20 know where or they are. 20. Yeah, I know they are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know like, where there's they like are. a gap, and then there's like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of Dwayne Reed, and then there's like another one. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. Well, how yeah. awful is it though? Because, dude, you can't go anywhere without being. You're so recognizable. It's like, if you want to go jack off at a porn place, like, you got you to put that's a hat what, on. That's what I'm saying. It took me all morning to try to find a place that way I could get some privacy <laughs> and jerk off. But, yeah. I mean, yeah <laughs> I, 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 can I watch you? And I said, take care of jerking off. Uh, yeah, it's tough, you know? Yeah, you're the, one of the attractions. Yeah, I'm one of the attractions. <laughs> yeah, so they open up a fucking thing. It's like, hey, I'm trying to jerk well, off. Well, that's the that's when I walked by it. I thought that's the weirdest thing is because you're walking, else I'd be like, recognize you they're all standing there waiting to go to yeah. go into like you know carmines to get lunch and they're like this character i'm going into the jack off <laughs> thing so. Your joint yeah at least wear a hat or something well yeah jamaicans i did i didn't make i did i did wear a hat and still didn't work hey it's character up on a hat he wore, <laughs> so. he wore it on his dick though yeah, <laughs> <that's> nice. Nice. <laughs> looked silly last time he was in he was talking about some of this stuff uh, was? Uh, yeah the bunny ranch and all that uh, yeah, 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 yeah yeah we yeah, went well, down that road with you I look like brett michaels a little bit i look like yeah. brett michaels Do they, but, nobody i mean no offense. in the mouth Actually, no, and the, f- the face features. Brett Michaels. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. I'm just, I was just Is that a black guy's woman. observation of a white person looking yeah, like really. another white person when it doesn't really? Yeah. Like, I look I, nothing I, like Brett. Maybe because I, I have eyeliner I, I, on. I, I, if, no. If, if you do, if you look at Brett Michaels, you'll understand that I'm not being a dick. No, I didn't mean a dick. I mean, like, you know, we could say, oh, you look like fucking, you know. Wesley Snipes. If you, if I did, if I did, oh right here, see, Michael. What? What? Now, what's that prop? What's that one? Oh, okay, okay. It's a it's a blast shield, right? That's pretty funny. Well, it's and you can't you can't say. You gotta be nice. Yeah, you, you have to. Yes, you, you have know, to be yeah. nice. You have to have like a right. You I like that just right. scumbag too, Carrot Top. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's just. We love that about him. Yeah, yeah, that's Regis, why we're like, though. hell yeah, we'll very... have Carrot Top on the show. Yeah. We, we don't want the Regis. We don't want the Regis off. version of Carrot Top. Nice. We want this. Yeah, this yeah, version is a lot more fun. So where yeah. have you been jacking your balls? <laughs> <laughs> where have you been emptying your nutsack, Carrot Top? I'm very curious to know because I can't find it. Sometimes joy doesn't put out, and I. I gotta jerk my dick! <laughs> Gelman, get over here! Squeeze my balls and put a thumb in my ass! <laughs> That's always the most fun part is going through Gelman for every joke. You know? Yeah, of course. Oh, he really? Knows, he knows, you know, he's the cutting. Because he knows comedy. Yeah, he knows comedy. Uh, <laughs> I have to spend an hour early going over every prop. Oh, you gotta oh, show every shit. single one? To him? Yeah. I what have to show every one mean? of them. Do they reject yeah. any? Yeah. Which ones do they reject? That's worth uh, talking about. I had about. a VP, like a hard hat that had a big cock on it. I said, this is for the executives to wear so they could, when they show up, oh, we got a way to plug this thing. And they're like, <laughs> you can't do that. And I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's genius. It's, it's current. Yeah. It's topical. It's topical. It's topical. <laughs> it's topical. <laughs> and, then, and then he would do, you can't do that. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> he, he wanted to put a dick on his hat. <laughs> it's insanity. Fucking <laughs> 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 Just, oh God! We yeah. love how he just gets he's, everything he's, wrong, he's, especially he's, with technology. Oh, you've been on there lots yeah, of times. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're like a regular. Thir- Forty, a lot of times. Wow, like how many? Forty, probably five. I was back with Kathy Lee. Wow, Tonight Show too, Lee, right? You've show. been on there a fucking ridiculous amount of time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. How many Tonight Show have you done? I don't know, but a lot. 
Wait, when you lose count, that's a lot. Yeah. I can tell you every date nice. I've gone, <laughs> you tell, you tell uh, what every flight morning. I took out, and what hotel I stayed at. <laughs> yeah, well. He just goes, I don't know. A big a star. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. That would work. So you, you on the road at all, or are you just kind of... i got uh, a summer th- gig coming up. I'm going to do some road stuff back again, go up, like casinos. But you're not else. just staying at the Luxor in Vegas. Yeah, pretty much that's all I do, Luxor. But there's this, like f- two weeks that I we got some dates we're going to go out. Damn, you're not just going to take right. off? I know. Well, that's what What's my the mentality idea? of that, man? I, that's amazing to me, dude. That's, I, right. that, you're getting whatever well, you're getting to deal at Luxor, and then the two weeks that you're off, you just... Is it addicting? Addictive? Or whatever? No, I didn't want to do it, but my, my people my people oh, need cash. You know? yeah. so like, Wait, listen, so, we really think you should work, not take off. <laughs> Wait, how many weeks a year are you in Vegas? Uh, f- uh, 240. <laughs> shows? 240 shows a year <laughs> you all have. That's so so you get 100 eight, days yeah, off. That's not bad. Months. It's not too bad. I go, you know. But you can only get about two weeks. Maybe I do more than that, actually. Yeah, two, I do three something. 300. Probably, yeah. What, what's your work schedule during the week? Every day but Tuesday. What a, Vegas is such a oh, weird town. Shit. Wednesday through yeah, Monday. Well, yeah, you got to pick a day. Well, it's one of the things you got to pick a day, and every, every show has a just they pick a day. So mine just happened to be Tuesday. I guess we'll take Tuesdays because Chris Angel's dark on you know Wednesday or something. So whatever we try to. So what do you like? What, what do you do but on your day nights, off? Yeah. Just find a jerk joint. Jerk yeah. joint. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Are going with this? <laughs> are you are you uh, doing wow. some deviant like just fucking groupies? They still just oh. delicious. Wait, it's carrot top here. We're talking to right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like groupies, right? No, yeah, no. Yeah. There's plenty of groupies. Yeah. No, I do. I do my fair share of. And you're in yeah. fucking. Re- you're in UFC shape now, so it's I'm like in UFC shape. <laughs> you're like fucking. I just so carrying all this shit around. Is why? So how can we get muscles? I got fucking. <laughs> Goddamn props! Don't Shooting your red around. cum everywhere, all over, <laughs> all over the fucking Luxor. Oh, <laughs> fucking his, his red jizz is just on every face and fucking. <laughs> they come back expecting fun carrot top. He's got his dick out. Come on. Cause, cause I find this motherfucker to be fascinating right now because he just you can't see him if you. But he's so dark. Is his his demeanor? He's an evil motherfucker. Just <laughs> an evil walking around with his fucking props. And he is a he is garbage, and I love him, man. I mean, I would love him in my heart. I, I, I that was a compliment. Yeah. This is fucking. It really was a compliment. Yeah. Fuck Dump me, man. All over me. He's got a dark side. <laughs> oh, it's and it's really you can when feel the, the energy, dude. It's like stage. whoa. Am I yeah. like mind fucking you right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It's a dark man. I didn't I didn't, I didn't realize yeah. you were so fucking right. dark, man. Yeah, that's a good thing. And it, and I might kill somebody later. <laughs> I believe it. Why would you get that big as carrot top? You want to choke bitches? Choke bitches. Choke bitches. They're in that one's in, <laughs> one's in one of those trucks. Yeah, one's this nigga carried around ten trucks, seven with dead bitches. You know, we noticed he never opened that second trunk. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have two, nigga? <laughs> now there's a dead body in the elevator shaft of this building, <laughs> waiting to be found. Poor little Jesus. Gary Coleman's foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I would love to think that he's a serial killer when he's not on that stage. Oh, oh, God damn! It's the way he's sitting. He's just, he's like, fucking, we find him fascinating too, dude. Fascinating, and the, and the thing is, you could have set yourself. And this is what I always said about Michael Richards and um, and uh, Pee Wee Herman is they set themselves up to lose everything because they got caught being what they are. At least, at least you're fucking saying, dude, I jerk off, I do all that shit. So he can never really lose his career to anything. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like Pee Wee Herman set himself up. To be like, oh, I'm a crazy guy all the time. And then he's a guy who'll jerk off in a fucking movie theater. And I was talking about Pee Wee the other day. He was always a dirty guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, 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 but that character, like guy, dirty, he, yeah. he set himself up. He to wasn't lose. hiding that shit. Then TV made him into the kind that, of mutated that, from that, that clean cut uh, guy. Yeah, dirty Pee Wee. I didn't know that kid until Ant told me. His stage show was pretty damn yeah. dirty. And it was yeah. very similar to what he was doing with the TV show. Yeah. He's so I guess it means it's not that shocking. Like, look at him. Yeah, yeah, it's just you, you know, know what? Fuck Pee Wee though, because he should have done our show this week. So yeah. oh, fuck Pee Wee Herman. Well, you're open we about it though. Top. You talk yeah. about it. You're not uh, afraid to talk about it, which is which is you know that's it's, that's it's good. He's like you know like a comic. He's just, you can't lose. You cannot lose. I was blowing this guy behind this dumpster last night. <laughs> 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 right. Talk about that. Maybe you can't lose. lose there. He can't lose. He can't lose. <laughs> Maybe that you could lose a little bit. <laughs> Maybe just How a much bit. though? The people would still. Oh, it's still funny. Who cares? So you live. No, out, he's <laughs> a comedian. Yeah. He's sucking a guy off. It's funny. Come yeah. on. <laughs> you, you live out in Vegas, obviously. Yes. Uh, and and really, like, what is there to do on a Tuesday in Vegas? 
Anything. Every night, that's what's great about Vegas. Every night. One show or two every shows? Night's Friday night. Yeah. yeah, but isn't it like, you know. One show a night. You, yeah. you gamble? Do you, you only have yeah, to Yeah, once in a while you go gambling, you know. Sometimes yeah. you go to like a pool, there's a big pool party, you know, and cruise around those. Oh, okay. I was just clubbing, wondering, you know. Like, what do you do? Jesus. Yeah. Usually I go home. Yeah. You got a big and, house? Uh, I have a huge house. You really? Just bring over the bitches. <laughs> bring the bitches over. And <laughs> right on. Even man. on Saturday, one big, show Saturday. Yeah, one, I used to do two on the Saturdays, but uh, it just got too much. Hour and a half? Part of my contract. Hour. Can I just do one? Wow. Hour? Or hour and a half? Hour and a half. Hour and a half show. One night. Hour and a half show. And then Fuck. You got an opener or you do it yourself? Jesus, like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. And I pick up a goddamn blender and a and, and, chicken. And look, and you know what? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> but, and, at least you was honest. I was going to be dishonest and say, hey, no offense or not. But I'm just saying, it, oh, hour and a half, like, okay, I'm going, man, hour and a half of like jokes every day. Might, you just might go, oh, God, no, no, Jesus. But an hour and a half <laughs> oh, Jesus. of opening up, just like, what's this? And what's this? And, what? and you just time it out on. All right, ready? Question. How many props is an hour and a half show? Well, Pretty good question. Two. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of lead-up. He does long-form <laughs> problem comedy. There's a, big, there's, a lot of setup. there's a lot of setup to the prop. Yes. <laughs> no, I, no. It's just a long one. Long form. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it depends because a lot, of, a lot of the shows stand up, so it's kind of a mixture of stand up and props and video stuff and it's a very variety oh, okay. big production number yeah lots yeah. of yeah. there is there's like dancing video, girls there's like video things and jokes and videos and even light lighting cue jokes it's so it even about. breaks wow. in the show you can take a little you can get like like melt back into yeah, background yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, show. yeah I don't do pro, you do props first 10 minutes get them kind of yeah, let's going, get a and then you bring let's get down. a video up here and he's back yeah, there getting his dick sucked nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fucking a. And now are you are you bigger than uh there's a there's a uh, who's great, by the way, the uh, puppet guy. He got like a hundred million dollars. Terry Fader. Yeah, Terry Fader. Is he is he the biggest thing going? He's the big thing now. Because yeah. who's the is one who died? From America's Got Talent. Yeah. Who's the guy that died? Though, that was the Danny huge. Danny Gans. Danny Gans was like. Gans so who's the he, who's the Danny Gans he, of the Vegas the, now? He's probably the Danny Gans. Is he at the, the MGM? Yeah. And Caliendo. No, Caliendo's uh, moving into that spot. It's uh, Monte Carlo, and he's doing the impressions. So it's him and Fader. Fader got a big deal. I think like a hundred million dollars. Something. Hundred. I don't know who he is. You could be famous in Vegas and nowhere else. Yeah, in the uh, that Danny Gans was. I think it's that room, that particular yeah. room. Yeah, he, Danny Gans. No one knew who he was. Fader. Right? Is that how you say his name? He's, and, he's unbelievable. Is he good? He's oh, really he's, good. He, no, he's if, really If it's the guy that came from America's Got Talent, came with the puppet. With the puppet. Yeah, he's unbelievable. I saw the show. It's really good. It's got to be for a hundred million. It better be. Yeah. What's uh, what's what, what does the puppet? Is it and like a Jeff Dunham anything. puppet or no? No, no. he's, he's he, here's his thing. He's he's really talented, but no one's gonna. His real talent would never get him nowhere. So yeah. he put his real talent of singing in puppets, <laughs> and and it makes it better. But he's a, an amazing singer. This guy, okay. but he sings like women. You really make it sound fascinating. It, it, it's I really want to go I'm, see it. Look at you. In my no. head, no no to the puppets have yeah, the talent. The puppets have yeah. the talent. <laughs> my DNA has song. to hate him, but yeah. I saw it, and he sings at last by like Ella, Ella J. Oh, right, Ella, right. And it's 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 very yeah. well done. That fucker. He sings like, without yeah, moving his mouth. And the puppets are state of the art puppets. Move his mouth a little bit. Yeah. Put them. it this way: he's better than Otto. <laughs> Otto and George. <laughs> Fucking Otto might as well just actually talk now. <laughs> he pretty much does. <laughs> Suck a You're saying he moves his lips too much? <laughs> Otto. I've never seen a ventriloquist. He's yeah, I think he doesn't care. That's why he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. He don't give a shit. <laughs> he just, yeah, fucking... I've seen him when he tr like when he's being cognizant of it or conscious. Oh, bro, cunt, sir. And he really he, he can do it when he wants to do it. But other times, I think he's just fucking. He's up there just being dirty and not even. Yeah, there. he doesn't care. Well, he did Letterman. He was great. You kind of maybe the, the worst ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> like he he doesn't, he doesn't. It's everything. Like it's, if I say. Hey, how you doing, everybody? I might move my lips on the P. Yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. fucker just goes, how are you, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Otto stinks. Or George. Which one is it? George. Fuck. <laughs> 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 but Terry Fader is, is he he's sing, very though. good. He can yeah. sing the whole song with his mouth shut. And never move. Fucking At least he's Terry Fader. Good. Is Danny at? Oh, that Bobo looks just creepy in his fucking face. Look at him. Over we got here. Bobo here, character. He's like a prop. He lost a lot of weight, actually. Who, Bobo? Yeah, I really yeah, hope he's sick. About? I hope he's hey, sick. Hey, can you, uh, E Rock, we need a video. <laughs> Fader, I guarantee Keep Bobo out of the studio for a second. Oh, yeah. How long have you been doing in Vegas? The, the whole I've been doing the Vegas thing for whew, 
15 years? Has it been 15 fucking years? Total, Jesus but yeah. Christ. I've been wow. four at the Luxor and then 10 at the MGM. Still Jesus. still colleges sometimes? No. I've been you can't so get out of Vegas. out of the fucking college game? Forever. People still say, he loves lots of college. I do Leno. You've been out of the go, college game for 15 years? Now, I can't care to have the number one college draw. I'm like, <laughs> I haven't done colleges in 20 years, Jay. He like, you know, always thinks that. <laughs> You've been out of that game for, 20, for 15, 15 years? 15 at least, yeah. I used to look up, you know, they got a thing they tell everybody's... They, right. Can, Carrot Top, I was, this is how big he was, I remember, it, and this I know, he, remember he was a nice guy, he was famous, bef- like when I just started coming, I just started, and I was doing, he was, you were doing clubs then, uh, maybe 18 yeah. years ago, and, you know, nice guy and stuff, and I'm just sitting there going, and then years later, you know, you go on that thing, and you find out who's making what in college, and <laughs> he's been pretty much fucking Having a good life, <laughs> yeah, doing all right. Because he was known as the as with the, the with biggest the college and ever. Yeah, exactly. Ever. You, ever. You get one. This guy's pulling in two hundred grand a year, easy. <laughs> oh, <perhaps laughs> You were the biggest. You were like number one college act for like ten oh, years before that. I, I had something, some kind of record of like Harry Chapin I beat or something. <laughs> wow, amazing! I know, huh? Hope you have a better driver than he had. <laughs> <laughs> but Russell, Russell, Russell Peters is is sneaking up right on you. On He's colleges, on, your, on his on his on his heels. Russell, Russell Peters. Yeah. His colleges. Russell, no. Russell sells out. Oh, the man. Canadian where they play fucking. He did Radio hockey. City Music Hall. Hockey. Really, really. really? Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> He's the king of fucking them. Chelsea Handler did three shows at Radio City, sold out. She sold yeah? out three really? Radio City shows, fifteen thousand people. Really? Jesus Christ! Oh, yeah, she's on. She's the biggest. Three of them. them. Yeah, Jesus. really. Chelsea Handler. Yeah, yeah I used she to, might be the biggest comic day? in the country. Right? Every day. Really? Yeah. Boom. Fuck. How many seats? Thousand Radio nothing. City Music Hall. What is like five hundred? Yeah. Oh, five hundred. That's that's cool, and that's reasonable too. That's like a good that's a nice amount crowd, of people. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah a that's good a amount. amount. Not you too don't much. want to. Yeah, you don't want a nightly head of like, you know, how many heads to get in there? Like now, does it cost? Is it is there a ticket price in there, or is it, or, or they they're in the casino when you walk? No, in? it's both. There's deals and packages. And Do you look down sometimes and just see fucking some sleeping Asian oh, guy? Oh, no, yeah. totally. I just had one two nights ago. She's really no clue. Empty seats in <laughs> casinos. No, 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 they used to look at his watch, and she was, and they were talking, and finally, I, 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 just, I just had fun with them the whole time. Just throw something. I said, out. "How much longer uh, do you need to go?" Because they're just looking at their watches. Oh God, Jesus. damn! The empty oh, seats in a casino. Prop knife. So you no, must have get, nice. it's not a prop. <laughs> you ever lose it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ever lose yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. And ah, I think it's funny when they're sleeping. You know, that's probably funny to me because. <laughs> <laughs> I put a blanket on him or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Yeah, you go out, you go down there, yeah, and put, put a blanket, blanket on, on him, and you give him something. Yeah, right, that's fucking good. That's but really my fun. favorite is like we, my my show, especially like yeah, you know, all comics. It was like there's music and there's props and there's there's strobe lights and there's pyro. I mean, this is like a it's ridiculous, right? It's and you got people sleeping. I'm like, how fucking yeah, you, imagine how bad I'd be if I was just talking. Right. <laughs> I mean, I got a fucking the whole circus, audience would yeah, be whole fucking circus snoozing. act, what and they're like, mm, and that's what George, uh, George, uh, what's his name? Yes, mm. exactly. George, oh, Jesus Seinfeld's friend. We know him. <laughs> George. <laughs> George. Black. Very black black oh, George. Oh, yeah, yeah, George Wallace. Wallace. George Wallace. Wallace. Jesus. He's, another, he's, another, he's big he, out there, he's too. He's a big guy. Yeah, I just had lunch yeah. with George Wallace. Did you? He's, yep, doing a good guy. He's a guy who's like, he's good for Vegas, too. I mean, he's got the kind of act that's perfect. You know, he can bring in people that don't even know who he is, and they'll still love mm. him. You know, he's not offensive. Yeah. He can't be really... But he's offensive. talking every night. That's the thing. It's just yeah. like... I'm I'm envious. Like I'm sitting there going, "Oh my god!" Even like fifty mil for like five years of talking, you just be like, it, "Really?" But like fifty mil for, you yeah, know, you got some shit that can help you out a little bit. Well, you, you talk Genius. all morning. It's just, I'm talking at night. Say that again. You talk all morning. <laughs> That's very fair. I think. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. But I think there's well. a difference though when it's like there's you, you, there's an imaginary people out there. They could be the oh, but you just. We do talk, but imagine it's 500 people. It might be a Chinese bitch that's sleep, sleep during the show, yeah, yeah. and you're just like, for seven, five days a week or yeah. six, 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 six days. days. We don't let Fuck. the Chinese people in anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> big signs out there. No Chinese. Seriously. Go fucking home. Have you ever seen uh, Ace Rothstein's uh, Ace is High? It's a great uh, show. <laughs> yeah. Down there. Do you have Frankie Avalon on? No, uh, God bad, bless bad, him. Bad. Still married. <laughs> Ace is high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> terrible fucking show. <laughs> and, if, and if the commissioner wants to debate me, <laughs> who was watching <laughs> that? <laughs> He's juggling. Oh, what's the song? <laughs> Staying alive. What was it? Oh, do, yeah, it was do, that. Do, do. 
such a cheesy like <laughs> Vegas intro. Hey, sits high. That's I love, I love the number one handicapper. <laughs> hey, it's Rothstein. Hey, it says hi. When he throws out the fucking challenge, well, if they, what were they, the commissioners? They yeah. want to debate. If he throws debate it, me, uh, you know where I am. I'm right here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> so what, a, what a low rated show that would be. Uh, oh, good. The gaming guy is going to debate Ace. <laughs> no one is watching yeah. that. Any, any, everybody that looks so is cool. Like, do, do you have anybody that's. <laughs> Essentially, your boss that you have to kind of go, oh, yeah. you know. But is it? But at this point, you can just go fuck off to anybody, though. Really, isn't that right? Now, yeah, you want to keep the people happy that you work for. I mean, the president's pretty cool. They're nice guys. Yeah, real nice. Yeah, but it probably helps that I do good. If you know, if you're doing, you're selling seats and getting people. You do out. sell a lot. Of, do you sell out every night, or do you have? Uh, pretty much. I mean, we you know, we have some. Wow. You know, there may nice. be a night where you know you have a slow week or something. You might not be. Full, full, but we're full. We have good, good percentages. That's great, man. That's really hard to do. Yeah, it's great to have to just have a gig, you know. You ever uh, perform at the White House or anything? No, no. I, 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 I talked to Leno about that one, and he said, "You, you, you never done that." He always acts like I, like I, he says. I said, well, I gotta get a private jet. You know, you got a private, you know, private jet. <laughs> no jet. I don't have a private jet. You're fucking Jay Leno. You have a jet. Like I'm not carrot top. No jet. So uh, he, yeah, he says, yeah, you know, play the, the, that's great. Yeah, you, you should do it. I'm like, well, you, you should do, do it. How yeah. do you just do it? Right. I said, well, <laughs> get a word in for me. But I, I always thought that would be pretty. Uh, I don't know. Interesting to play in the right, White House. Yeah, probably a tough crowd, yeah. I, I don't know. If my oh. act in the White House, would be, yeah, yeah. it'd take forever to get all that shit to security. Probably. Yeah. Would they you say no to everything? No, I pr no. If they asked me to do it, I would definitely say yeah. I can't imagine. You have to say yeah. It's a good yeah. story if you kill. It's a great story if you bomb. Yeah. <laughs> if you bomb in front of the president of the United States, you're yeah. a garbage. But I mean, it does. Yeah. It's like what a That's story. A big fat yeah. No, for me, nigga. Oh like, no. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh come on. I just wouldn't. Why? I will, it's just, it's better for everybody that I don't. <laughs> it's just, it's better, it's good for my soul, it's good for, you know, I'll say something <laughs> stupid. It's, 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 no. Say something uh, stupid. Hey, so we have Bobo <laughs> out. his cracker. Uh, it'll just, uh, uh, it's, it's better for everybody, everybody that I don't. That's a great call. Yeah, it we, certainly is. We have Bobo outside. Knows. Uh, we were thinking maybe Bobo could do some... Well, this is like a Make-A-Wish Foundation kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, Carrot Top's totally cool with it. Uh, we want yeah. maybe Bobo to take a look at some of Carrot Top's uh, props and see if he can do some improv for us. Yeah, a little improv, because Bobo fancies himself a stand-up comic. He's performed uh, hey, out there in Jersey. Uh, how you doing there, Mr. Top? I'm great, thanks. <laughs> Mr. Top. Well, Mr. Wow, Top. Mr. Top. Mr. Top. See, that's kind of funny, right? You're no. assuming his first name is Carrot, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's all I know him as is Carrot Top. Yeah, why are, are you, you losing weight? Are you right? working out or do you have AIDS? Yeah, That's no, a... I've been I've been working out. <laughs> yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. I, I've been working out, and plus, most most of the time during the week, I eat salads during the week. Why? Oh, why yeah. are you losing weight? Can I you... just wanted to lose weight. That's all. Yeah. So you look good on TV when they shredded. start calling yeah, you for yeah, TV. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's just I, I people have been recognizing me now. Oh. So I figured I I, I might as well start losing weight. You did look like you lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I've been I hope a, a gypsy lot. touched you and went thin, uh, <laughs> thin, uh... I die with it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Carrot Top's act? Yeah, I know I know his act. He always does those things with the props. I've yeah. seen him on TV before. What? Oh, really? Well, <laughs> what kind of things? Like, you gotta explain this. Well, he brings some prop and he says some comet or has some name for it. <laughs> Wow, what a great description. Yeah, I'm right, though. Yeah. Uh, we'll I can't wait to see Carrot Top in Vegas with that explanation. Yeah. Yeah, like something is going on, exactly. Yeah, 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 something yeah, is yeah going like, for on. example, maybe he'll, for example, he'd use a prop and maybe he'd use a reference to the oil spill. Well, oh! Well, Bobo, there's a prop right to your right. Maybe you could uh, maybe explain it further by doing Carrot Top. Oh, that one there. There's a shield with a with a hat on top of it, a, a cowboy hat, and a little guitar is kind of glued onto the front of the shield. And underwear. Um, and underwear sure. around the bottom. It's uh, yeah. You know, what you put you it do? in front of yourself, and you kind of would look like I a guess, naked cowboy. I guess this yeah. would be over here. Mike. Why don't you ask him if it's okay if you pick up his thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know how expensive that is. Why don't you hold it by the handle? Is. There's a handle, Bubba. There's a handle. It doesn't and why don't you take head. off your Met hat? He's got a Met hat under it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he drops the prop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> goddamn, Bubba. <laughs> hold on to the handle. Yeah, you know, it's not supposed to have the hat. I guess. I Did guess this would be what the naked cowboy would be using to be performed in a. In a, in, in a terrorist country's equivalent of Times Square. 
that's pretty close to what it was. Horrendously <laughs> delivered. Excellent <laughs> point. Because of the bombing that we had. <laughs> it's like, it's the, yeah, con- yeah. the context was uh, there. Yes. Or, or if he was a member of the uh, riot police. Why Good did you one. have to ruin it? Had <laughs> too. Yes. <laughs> you can take the hat off now. You're not charming. <laughs> <laughs> Just stand there with it like you want winks and nods. Oh, God here, here. Oh, let's, let's open that one. We'll hear. We'll oh hear. yeah, a couple of more. Yeah, Why not? Do a whole set. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do a whole set. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Bobo's gonna be at the Luxor, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bobo. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a whole I made him a big star. We got Carrot Top and Bobo working hey, together. This is like a dream come true, right? Oh, Carrot Top and Bobo. Yeah, Bobo, isn't this? Uh, you know, this got to be pretty cool for you. Yeah, let's see what we got here. I guess. Uh oh, it's just for Ree, just because he's like just. I, I guess we got a. Uh, uh, I guess this thing looks like a p- paparazzi. Uh, the defense against the paparazzi. What, what, what is it? <laughs> that, that is a good question. I'm, what is it? It's a it's a uh, it, it's a shower head glued to a, a little piece of uh, cardboard shaped like a, the back of a basketball rim, and there's a bunch of little figures around it. Action figures. Uh, action type figures. Yeah. Turn it towards us, and a couple of them are holding telescopes. They're all like with their arms out. I guess I guess it'd be the paparazzi and fans deflector for for uh, for Kobe Bryant or Bryant. Um, <laughs> Kobe Bryant. Bryant. Yeah. <laughs> Bryant. Is that correct? I don't even know what that one is. I'll tell you the truth. No, that was for Regis because he sings in the shower, so he has an audience. Oh, then he'd have an audience. Oh, okay. Not not hilarious by either one of us. But Regis <laughs> Regis enjoys it. <laughs> We just did enjoy that. I said, get my yeah. Here, I'm sick of the show. Oh, wow. Look at that. Right, Carrot Top's giving you some shoes. All right. They're, they're like uh, they're, uh, flip-flops with, um, with uh, like I doors. Pro- I think props on the radio is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> so the props on the radio. Yeah. With, with those little door stoppy things so the door doesn't hit your, the yeah, door doesn't hit the wall. Up. It looks like it's on legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The stilts. Oh. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Might uh, be able to use though. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess. Uh, I guess this is what my uh, my cousin Melissa uses to look freakishly taller than me. Oh my uh, god! Uh, <laughs> this cousin uh, Melissa uh, jokes. No one knows your cousin Melissa. By the way, when I did that on Regis, they loved it. They were like, "We love Melissa." Oh <laughs> my god! Uh, she she looks freakishly taller than me. We understand that, by the. Yeah, no, well, the prop is the prop is these are what these are these are new flip flops to wear down in the Gulf area, see, so you don't get. Oh, the, so the oil is not going to look. You're, you're yeah. elevated up a little yeah. bit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> 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 and, like in, in the show, in the, and in the show, I'll spread it out so I, you know, kill it I was going to say, yeah, 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 <laughs> I was going to say, you only got fifty-five more minutes to go. Man. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, you're slower. Here's one. That is, um, that's a, uh, it looks like a, wow. a spaghetti strainer with a toilet seat and lid over it. Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess this is what this is what uh this is what a diver uses as a a shit strainer to get the get the get the oil out of them. Exactly. It's a skinny dippers oil strainer. Okay. All right. Go, gone skinny dipping in the oil slick. Explain it further. <laughs> Use this to get the oil out. I understand. Now I need to know what that is. I have to know. Is it carrot top? It's just for people. It's, again, there's a lot of it. The Regis-y ones. They went about yep. children. So they said uh, it's for children when they eat pennies or they eat swallow shit. Then oh. when uh, they shit yeah. it out, you can. Oh, there's mommy's Bobo ring. Know about you know, that? Yeah. Ah, yeah. strange yeah. right out. <laughs> that's very adult. <laughs> that's an adult. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I like scat humor. <laughs> Wonderful. Anything <laughs> scat. Kitty you scat humor. I love it. German shit videos. <laughs> German shit. <laughs> Look at the... I love those videos, by the way. Oh, well, we great. got a site to show you then, Carrot Top, after okay, we get through, right. through this part of the uh, segment. Wow, Carrot Top's logo is fucking cool as shit. It's like Ugh. CT with a lightning bolt going through it. Uh, it's a pop. Hold on. You have it's a, a logo. Jesus. It's, it's a popcorn. It looks like a popcorn <laughs> bag, like that you get at the movie theater. Oh, oh, oh With a, a minute, big yeah. clear straw coming off it, with a Groucho oh, oh, yeah. marks like fuzzy mustache glasses and the fuzzy eyebrows. Right. 
What do you think that is, Bobo? Bobo? I don't know. I guess this is... Try it on. This would be a, mo a movie, a movie theater the mic? hiding kit. Movie theater hiding uh, kit. He's probably onto something, yeah, something there. Yeah, you want on? Yeah? So you don't want anyone to see you at a particular movie. Oh, yeah. oh. Guys, seeing they go see Sex in the City. Like, I thought it was a oh, Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man or whatever that movie is. <laughs> right. So that's it. And I was going to change it now, see how we can current, current take this little guy and put it on an umpire's hat so that um can... All oh, right, so he yeah, can go he can out without out getting uh, chastised for his uh, exactly. shitty call. <laughs> All right. Goddamn Bobo is fantastic. <laughs> okay, is that's... Um, what do we got there? Again, Re Regis stuff. It's oh, Re Regis. Regis stuff. Little Regisy. How to keep it a little friendly. They want it all. Yeah, you got to be. You know, yeah, a little, yeah. A little PC and PG. It's an invention. Mm. It's an invention, well, uh, Bobo. What do you think? What are you looking at, Bobo? What is? What does it look like? Well, all I know is I'm not sure how many people are going to know about this, but my uncle has a habit of every time he stays over. He, uh, they're taking too much of the bread in the house. Oh, fuck balls. Taking too much of the bread. So it's a loaf of bread. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like right? a Chinese woman in okay. Vegas, nigga. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what is? Uh, what do you think that's all about there, Bobo? Uh, I might, I might get, hopefully give him a bad case of diarrhea that he won't steal the bread anymore. What does that have to do with that? It's yeah, a, it's a loaf about? of bread, but instead of at the end, the opening is right in the middle. A no, loaf. What is that? Mm -hmm. No idea. I have no idea what this is, except for just to throw, to throw this at an umpire. <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, bread. That's good. Yeah. What's the actual? Yeah, that was just a trick. It's just bread. Yes. No, it's a it's a bread. They see that opens in the middle, so you always have a fresh piece when you go on the end. Ah, uh, you, right you know when you dig your hand yeah. in there to get that middle slice. Yeah, uh, why do you come up with these? Come on. I do it all the time at my house. All right, here's a pizza box, right? And then on the back, it's got the... What's on the back of the What's pizza box? What's on the back there, Bobo? Box. Uh, a, a, a census form. They I trick you. Oh, I, they trick I, you. I, I guess, <laughs> I guess this, this is the way to trick, to trick an illegal <laughs> into filling out the census form. Oh, an illegal! Uh, an illegal! Oh, you're outrageous! Hey, now you're being way. outrageous! I guess, this is what, <laughs> census form. I guess this is what Uncle Eddie in Philly used to get people to shit into for money. He would smell their socks and give them money and they would shit into a pizza box. Uncle Eddie in Philadelphia. <laughs> because there's these upstairs neighbors in my house that won't fill out the census form. But you go right ahead with your thoughts. Yeah. My mother suspected <laughs> the same thing. Yeah. All these illegals are not filling the census form. No wonder we're not getting so much funding in this neighborhood. I forgot that Bobo hates the illegals. Yes, he does. Oh, I he really does. That. Bobo's got a yeah. dark side when it and comes I'll, to... I like uh, Bobo Jimmy. Yeah, Bobo. If I they're legal, Bobo Jimmy there's, there's no problem, but yeah. if they're sneaking in our country and stealing our tax dollars... Yeah. Wasting our tax dollars. You should be I making this speech on a podium. One, How much did you pay in taxes last year, Bobo? This is the last one. Last Nothing. one, thank you. Let me let me see what it looks like. I think I wrote the answer on it, so he's gonna get it. He won't get it. Let me let me just bubble. Let me see what it looks like. Uh, what does it look like? I don't know. I did I didn't look at it. You just turned it around. I don't know that anybody else is talking. It's just me and my old little world. You're all actors in my play. I'll let everybody keep talking. I'll just babble right through everybody. Let me see it, Bobo. It's a it's a picture frame with a paperback novel opened up inside of it with glass on the outside. I'm guessing this is a prehistoric Kindle. Yeah, it's a red. Well, I Did you it read redneck, it? Yeah, redneck candle. That's pretty oh, funny. Redneck, yeah, that is good. Wow, okay. Bob was smarter than we thought. Well, the word. How do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word Kindle is written. Right oh, there. was it? <laughs> <laughs> what, like, like, you couldn't remember the name Kindle. <laughs> well, I didn't when I wrote. Yeah, I did. I yeah. Like, I was, fuck. What is this thing? <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> fuck shit. Ah, <laughs> 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 goddamn. You did good. Yeah, that was good. Very good, Bobo. You did good. All right, hey, yeah. What's that one to sign there? This one? Yeah. This is for um, homeless people because they always want change, but nobody has change anymore, so I put a, a little white thing. Oh, a oh, credit okay. card so they, <laughs> so they can accept Visa, MasterCard, and Amex. You can help them. You don't want to have change on Who carries these things for you? The people in the hallway that look disgruntled. Fucking terrible. My pissed off carrot top posse. <laughs> How many people do you travel with? Uh, on the road, like six. Wow. Wow, really? 
So you got obviously what you, got, well, we got, uh, you know it's a big show. It's lights and there's like I said, there's a production thing to it. Damn. Problems, How are you gonna rampings and pyro things? You're obviously gonna have to uh, you know cut back on the road uh, when you when you take it on the road for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. That's just gonna be like these disgruntled guys, you and yeah. a few packing crates. A few, few boxes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> packing crates. Right. Yeah. It's just it's, yeah. My <laughs> steamer trunk. How many boxes for an hour and a half show? I think I have. I think I have like six on stage, and I don't get through them because, like I said, he's kind of mix it up. And he do. dumps it all over the stage, and then just leaves like, "Now clean it up!" <laughs> yeah, pretty much <laughs> pretty yelling at no, yeah. <laughs> yelling everybody. <laughs> do you like other prop acts? Like the, the legendary Wid's a funny guy. He's I a, love the Wid. Oh, you know him, right? Yeah. Have you seen him work? I haven't seen him in a long time. I haven't seen him in a long time either, but yeah, I get along with him. Yeah, he was a funny dude. He, I used to do Wildwood with him, and he would really enrage the audience yeah. because he would just yell at them. Like that's I remember kind of really? funny. That's kind of funny. Yeah, he, yeah. He, I think that, uh, it's funny you just say, though. You get, do you get, get along with other prop comics because you think <laughs> other comics in general, like you and I are friends, but a lot of comics are like, prop comics, you know, bottom of their shit, all that. But as that's a good question. Like, do other you know monologists get along with monologists, right? Yeah, yeah. Pro well, so radio think, people don't get along with other, other radio, radio people, people for the yeah. most part. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I wonder if there's a competition it. between you guys that makes it because you guys yeah. are different in comedy. Yeah, Gallagher kind of gave me some shit. And, uh, Did he? Oh yeah. Why? He he said he's I, nuts. He's, oh, he is nuts. Though. We've he had really, him in. He said I. He, he yeah. took my fucking act, and I said I didn't take your act. Your act. And he's like, you took my fucking act. And he was really, like, pissed about it. He says, and you took my manager? And I'm like, I didn't take your, <laughs> your manager. And he's like, you took my manager, my fucking act? And you and took like, my soul. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, he thinks hair, he's the first man. one to do props. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking to his brother. He thinks he's the first yeah. one to do props. So fucking Jonathan Winters used to do props. What's yeah, he yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah. Really? Yes. Give me an example. <laughs> I, I don't know him, but he would improv. He had a very famous improv show where he would do yeah, props and outfits yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yes. Sure. Yeah. Legendary for that stuff. No clue. Mm. I don't know why I stopped the whole show. Like the, uh, I joke bombed. I was just <laughs> <laughs> what what happened to see the amazing Jonathan? He's still there. Yeah, I just had really? lunch with him the other day too. Really, a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, still doing it. Wow. He's a magician, he even makes though. jokes about. It. He says, you know, if I can do this, literally the same four jokes for. <laughs> 40 years. I'm doing, I'm doing good. <laughs> He's doing good. I'm like, you don't change nothing. I mean, not a... Oh, he doesn't? Not, He's not like a word. the same act. Not, not a word? word? Not a word. Same straw up his nose. Ouch. Right. Yeah. 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 The same spontaneous laugh yeah. <laughs> in places where yeah. you cracked yourself up. He <laughs> was entertaining, though. I worked with him like probably oh, 15 years ago. Oh, I thought it was ago. hysterical, yeah. And he would say, I have a penis the size of a five-year-old boy. <laughs> The size of a five-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That joke always made me laugh. Yeah. You no, know, Collins listening right now. Well, of course, Norton laughs at that. <laughs> <laughs> God, you would think you'd want to mix it up just to kind of. Oh my God! Yeah, that, well, yeah I do just for that reason. Yeah, yeah. mental. And Try people come crazy. back. You know, we get a lot right, of right, right. Just from a creative standpoint, just to or doing TV, like coming creative. up to these shows, like like we've been doing. Right. Uh, not this one. He's walk right through this one. But yeah, the, uh, of course. the uh, you know, like doing Leno and doing those shows, mm -hmm. you have to write new jokes. You can't just go back and do this. Baratop, you did this one already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you did it. I yeah, saw yeah, it already. Did Enough. <laughs> that flip flop with the thing. <laughs> we get it. It's for the oil. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had a problem getting That's a hold of an greatest. idea, like an idea you wanted to do for a prop, but you just oh, you couldn't yeah. get a hold I'll, of I'll the just situation? Show you one now because it's, I just finished making it. Oh, just and finished it's making so much it. Engineering. It's hot off the presses. You should know, this took some serious engineering. It's a briefcase. It's a briefcase. <laughs> yeah. A black you know, briefcase. Brent Michaels won the Apprentice. He said Brent Michaels, right? Yeah. And this is a briefcase for Brent Michaels. So huh. he can, when he's out... Oh, sorry, I taped it up because it's travel shit. <laughs> it's taped. Oh, I Why is it taped? <laughs> it's taped. It's rooted everything. Gelbit. So yeah, I guess what I'm thinking, like this, and it's got six lights in there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, that is bright. Oh, so you can do like a mini, if he's at a meeting, I can still do a little mini. That's concert. fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> like, hey, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah, like, as soon as the, the briefcase, briefcase opened, just we recorded. just all got blinded by lights. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. audience. Maybe I'll make a briefcase full of six lights. And like, okay. So the guy made it for me. Why don't you try to take that through a uh, carry-on at the airport like, there? Do you ever worry no? about motherfuckers Anything? getting a hold of your shit? Like, just, <laughs> no, like, no, I guess them not. Them fuckers <laughs> at the airport fucking with you? No, they're usually pretty cool, but, you know, they, you know. Do you fly private or do you fly commercial or both? I, I, 
Well, mostly commercial, yeah, unless I can get. They got a private plane. Like get, uh, private jet. Yeah, you would think a luxe store would just fucking fly you around. Think they would. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> yeah, they, really, they're flying around some fucking Asian businessman to steal his money. <laughs> get carry top a flight every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, right. He's bringing in people. Right. Jesus, help him out, Bobo. You got a question? You're jumping up and down over there, yeah, or do you have to go to the bathroom? I don't know the difference. Yeah. Not, not, I don't have a question. I was, I was just paying attention to what you were saying. <laughs> He jumps when he pays attention. It, is that what happens? Yeah. Oh, he's got to jump like up and he down. Had to make pee pee with his Where's Waldo shirt. How's the cock? <laughs> Cock's good. Oh, it is. Uh, there's been there's right, been some right. infections. Where's they found. Joko? <laughs> they, found, they found blood in the urine. They found blood in your urine. Whoa! Yeah. Is that why you're losing the weight? Uh oh. oh no, no no. See that's the <laughs> truth, and that's the. I mean, I mean, I've been extra. Go. I I I've been I've been I've been I've been working out, but also been. I've been drinking a lot of water. I've been drinking. You know those big cups they give you like at a ballpark when you buy a soda. Oh, they, you, hit, you, hit on you hit on something. Why they find? Patrice, I didn't drink that Patrice much water. Tapping. Why they find? Why out. they I'm find blood now? Because the, the whole idea yeah, of Bobo working out bladder. bothered me. Yeah. It was only an infection in his bladder. He said that's all it is. Yeah. yeah, that's all it is. But there's been a history of urinary infections. Oh boy. E even teamed even up, one after teamed he up, messed, he teamed messed up, up an the, operation when they Bobo, when I was little. Bobo, like, Bobo the timing is blood in your urine, and all of a sudden you're working out. Yeah, how many pounds are you down? And I'm not sure. I would say at least thirty. Just hit himself in the face. So give me, the give me how your, do you find discipline out of give me no your regimen. Give me your regimen for the week, you man. Your exercise regimen. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I do a lot of a lot of sit ups. Not you, Carrot Top. Oh, that's you. Sorry. <laughs> I, I do I do a lot of sit ups. <laughs> Carrot Top was ready. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do about a hundred. I, I do a hundred of them. Twelve, <laughs> twelve raw eggs. <laughs> and, and I and I and I ride my bike around Grand Avenue. Yeah. Put how a much, seat on it. You might not piss blood. <laughs> <laughs> for how long do you ride the bike? You get down the train tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ride it up to the, where the, no, the stop long? and shop uh, is. We don't know where the stop and shop <laughs> is. He's <laughs> just assuming we well, know everything. Where is the stop and shop? It's a little shop. bit of di distance. Up, up to about 57. How many? How many oh, minutes? Past the barber? No, no, I mean up to seventy second he's place. He's, he's sick. He's got the ninja from a dirty uncle or something. I, what's I, wrong I, with you? What, what, do you, what disease do you have? Fuck. Cancer? Bubble sick. No, sick. no, I don't have cancer. Bubble sick. What do you have? Bubble sick. Damn. No, all God I have is those urinary system problems I've had a oh. history of. But wait, well, how are you sick? sick? You peeing and losing weight? That's not good. Yeah, a hundred sit ups and a, and a couple blocks on a bike isn't going to make you drop all this weight. Right. And that oh. delusional lie had me May too, like because it made because sense because it was it been, sounded retarded. Uh -huh. Like was it, maybe because mostly what I eat during I'm being the week, I eat now. salads yeah, yeah. during the week. Hmm. He made that up. He fucking figured out. How to throw us off the track, but he fucked up, yeah, man. Yeah, he fucked up. He slipped up. Yeah, blood in the urine's a giveaway. Yeah. Yeah. I eat salad during the week. That's true, but yeah. it's the piss with, with the blood, blood in it that we're concerned with. <laughs> yes, yeah, not, not your salad. Not your I fiber. don't eat much during the week. What? No? Bobo. Oh. I eat more during oh. the week. I eat more oh. during the goes, weekends oh. than I do during the week. Yeah, he's starting to not believe himself. Oh. Yeah, he knows to, he's lying. Yeah, he's no, trying to justify it. Ask anybody that knows me. Who knows you? Give me a number. Give me a number right now, somebody who knows you. Uh, you could talk to my mom. <laughs> Call his mother. Uh, don't, don't give the number right over there. Yeah, uh, Fucking uh, no. Fred, you want to talk to my mom? Hold, hold on. Hold on. Let me. All right. Give right. me a piece of paper. Oh, can, can you put her pussy on the phone so we can bullet? Can we do speaker phone through his phone? <laughs> <laughs> can you talk to him? So I'm going to give oh, you. Oh, never mind. Just, <laughs> Bobo says, just put her on speaker. <laughs> All right. Hold on. This is going to take a while. Oh, because sometimes she doesn't pick her. Yeah, no, she doesn't oh, yeah. know. She answers the apple. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. He, got, he just has an answer. I don't know where he's he got caller ID. Uh, that's why she's not answering. Exactly. <laughs> Chewing Block on the phone. The call, stupid. <laughs> Chewing the phone and answering the apple. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bob. <laughs> What's her name? Mom, mom? Yes. <laughs> My mother's name is Aurora. Oh, that's right. Aurora, after, after Aurora, Aurora. Aurora. That's a pretty Aurora. name. Aurora. Aurora. Yes. Like Aurora. After a lion oh. sound. <laughs> yeah, she, she does that sometimes, all right? Takes all right. Well, she she ignores you. Of right. course she does. She does what? Sometimes time, drinks during pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee the first thing he'll say is, well, no, I got the number from someone. He'll have to tell her how he got her new number. <laughs> she, <laughs> she answers unknown numbers, but she won't answer Bobo's. Oh, wait. Put on, just put on the speaker. Now, hit, now, where are you? are you? If you're at home, they, they really want to talk to you, please, all right? I I I don't I don't I don't I don't know. They just want to talk to you, all right? 
The number is... No. Don't no. Call no. We'll call her. Uh, they'll, they'll call you... Well, tell her we'll be nice. We'll be nice. We'll be nice. The, don't worry. They'll, they'll be nice to you, all right? They just want to talk to you, all right? Yeah, but they'll be nice to you, all right? Oh, my... What'd she say? <laughs> but I won't be nice to them, I thought. Oh, I just went, my... Yeah, yeah, well, they, they, they heard that. No, we'll be okay. It's okay. We're fine. They, they heard that. They put... The, 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 she's not on the air. Well, I mean, if she, if my mom wants to, she could be vicious. I'm sure she don't can. Worry, yeah, she popped but you out. That was just exactly. That was, yeah, that was, more, that was ruthless. She was, she was rather mean to her <laughs> fallopian tubes. Maybe that's why he's bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're gonna call you. <laughs> oh God! Of course she was. Jesus. Of course she can be vicious. Wow. It's one on the speed. How would you feel if your genitals had pumped out such a disappointment? Well, look down the bone. Carrot top. You got a prop to fix this cancer. Can't have don't, that. Just don't. Oh my God. Fuck. Fuck. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. watch. I didn't, see, I didn't see Bobo before, so I don't know how much weight he's yeah, lost. It's, pretty it's noticeable. Yeah. It's yeah. Noticeable. It's noticeable. Well, maybe he's on Weight Watchers or something. Lift, no. your, lift up your shirt. Let's see if it's healthy, oh. skinny. Oh boy. What? What are you doing? You look like you look like a budding chick. Look at yeah. your little breasts. Yeah. Look at here. Look, look at this. Yeah. What a turn like, on. Oh, Wait. Looks like a hairy bagel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's using Bobo as a prop. He has, he has a going to shove him in the cage. Oh, I have yeah. to say that's an honor to have been used as a prop. Can you, can you just Tom? make him a part yeah. of Axis yeah. in his last days, please? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's, Fucking uh, Bobo. Yeah, like open the like open the toilet lid with the little net under it and say, unfortunately, this net caught this. <laughs> Sorry, Bobo. We do have a urologist on the phone. Oh, Bobo. I think no. we're also calling Bobo's mom. Let's get the urologist. Really quick? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, Bobo's Sorry, mom's on the phone. Oh, let's get his mom. All right. Bobo's mom. Ladies and gentlemen. Aurora. Bobo's mom. Hi, Aurora. And you had to use my first name. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Bobo told us. We just, Bobo yeah. said your name uh, many it's times. It's a very pretty show. name. Yes. That's why we were wow. using it. How are you? Okay. Okay. What can I do for you? Um, we, we have a question about Bobo. We're worried about his health, to be completely honest with you, and we're not making jokes. Is he's, he okay? He's Is dropped he okay? some weight. And Is he what? He's dropped a little weight, and then he said that they found a little bit of blood in his urine, so we're worried that that means something bad. Well, he has. I know. Uh, this is on the air right now. You guys are Yes. Oh, yeah. They didn't yes, tell you that? Yes. Yes. Okay. He has health problems. But I'm not sure I really want to discuss the whole thing. No, not the whole thing. Just. No, not the whole thing. Yeah. We just want to talk. We just want to talk about. Under doctor's care. Yeah. We just want, we just want, we just want to talk about this instance. Is this weight loss due to exercise or is it some kind of health issue? Um, no, he needs to exercise for health issues, but it's also a, it's a combination of both. A, a health issue and exercise. Patrice, yes. uh, what, what's going on? I have nothing. You have nothing. Is, just, is, is, is he going to be all right? We're, we're just a little concerned for him, that's all. Um, yes, hopefully, yes. You know, we just take one day at a time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. One day at a time is not good. Oh, boy. Jesus. <laughs> no, don't think negative. Cause I have, I'll get checked. No, no, I'm not I thinking negative. <laughs> I'm not thinking. Oh. I haven't lost them yet. You know what? I'm oh, out. boy. I'm out. Well, no, oh, it's a legit. Oh. She had nine kids. She could have lost one of us, and she didn't. So there you go. Well, there you go. It was right. Um, well, that's just kind of a. We just want to make sure his weight loss is not due to to something bad, like you know, a, a disease. Oh, sure, Travis. Travis stresses him out. No, I'm only kidding. Yeah, Travis does. Yeah, Travis. You know. oh. Tra Travis is an Travis asshole. is fighting his own no, sexuality. I think Travis is a good guy. No, I'm not a good guy. Oh, do you? Well, yeah. You guys all have to have a good, have to be goofballs to be in your line of work. Goofballs language. And you guys, <laughs> and you guys do it well. Thank oh. you. Bobo has given us some great radio. We hope yeah. he could continue. That's why you know we kind of past uh, July. You guys have made us such a wonderful. Um, Joy, you guys have been such a wonderful joy in his life. Oh, you know? boy. You know, have we? Oh, boy. We, um, he just rants and raves about your show all the time. He's been banned from speaking about you guys in his house because that's all we hear. Oh. He talks about us a lot. Did he mention that I'm going to be at Caroline's tonight or something? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy this, Jimmy that. Uh, of now I see where he gets his plow right through. Of course, of course, I, of course I did, Jimmy. I'm going to... I, I would love to get to 
three tickets for me and two of my mother's friends. Oh, I thought you were going to say two of your mother's. I was going to ask Aurora what she's into no, over there. Uh, yeah. no, my two mommies. <laughs> yeah. no, no, it's two of my mother's my friends who are who have also become good friends of mine also. We will put you on the list for any show Does you want to go. Does Bobo know he's sick? Bobo, you know you're huh? sick? Oh, boy. Hmm, well, huh? I, well I, do, I do know, all right? I mean, the blood and the urine, there. That there's a thing to be concerned about. I've had to drink a lot of water and take this medication to avoid that pain. Oh, yeah, he mentioned that to us. That's why we didn't ask him. He actually just kind of volunteered no, that. Daniel is, a, Daniel is a strong kid. He gets up every morning and doesn't wow. let anything stop oh, him. I thought you were going to just okay. stop there. He gets so up every he, morning. He, you know, when, if we want to make excuses why we don't want to do things in life, there you go. He wants to keep doing things in life. So I don't believe in that word can't. No, so. no it's true. There, there's a word. It's called can't. <laughs> so, so you're saying Bobo... Yeah, you know that we're can't, do you? God damn, we're finding out today he's sick. So, Aurora, Holy so you're, you're assuring us that Bobo's not going to go-go? Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, I think we're stuck with him for, for a little while longer. All right. Oh, uh, good. Uh, how, many, uh, how many years did Doc give him? Yeah, what's, what's a little while? What's the prognosis? Yeah. Well, look, he should have died when he was two. He didn't, did he? Should have no, a, reg a regular, a, a regular Kal El there. Kal El. So he should die with you. But what's the, what's the, what, the, what, the, what kind? What kind of prognosis did the doctor give him? Yeah, what, what, what can you tell us? Time frame. Well, he's trying uh, right now. He's giving you know he's giving us positive things. We're looking at his kidneys to make sure that he's functioning. Oh <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> no, not the know, kidneys. <laughs> Oh, can we just stop? Oh, can we boy. stop? We know already. We know. What does he need? Does he need a kidney? Yeah, no, sir. Would you stop? He probably needs stop. two. Stop. What's your question? I think he's Anthony's kidney. No, I'm going to kidney. Please, Jesus. You can have Anthony's kidney as long as you don't stop. want his liver. <laughs> Fuck yeah. My liver's shot. Jesus Christ. I just want to know if Bobo was okay and he's not okay. Who's the one saying that? Patrice O'Neill. Patrice. Oh, that's Patrice. But don't, oh, yeah, I've heard of him, too. Do you want us yeah, to... Yeah, she's going to be okay. Don't worry. Yeah, Do she didn't say nothing nice at that fucking yeah. band of some from Twitter. You want us to find him a Save kidney? his dick, though, because it works tremendously. <laughs> Make sure that's safe. For, yeah, he's got a solid pump. <laughs> for prosperity, <laughs> that fucker. That shit oh, goes shit. up and down. You should be happy uh, about that. Well, yeah, but shh. <laughs> Bobo's mom doesn't know. Uh, Cigars and Scotch is saying, get the the, tell Sam to start working on the I Will Remember You song uh, with all the clips. But, you want us to find him a kidney? We're pretty powerful. No, no. We can't get 20 people okay. to have cherries thrown at their hineys. <laughs> oh, good point. I forgot. Don't worry about it. He's don't fine. Worry. I'm a nurse, too, so don't worry. I will watch know what that's all about. Oh, you're a She's nurse? She's had enough. <laughs> nurse. Well, yeah. Yes. I'm not working on it. <laughs> you, take it you, right. you take his temperature up his hiney hole? He's had no, enough. I don't think so. No, he's had enough. <laughs> no. Have, you ever, have you ever actually said to him during dinner, you know, you should have been dead at two. Why don't you shut the fuck yeah, up? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe he shouldn't hear that. <laughs> you know, uh, you must, it, you have to just look at one day at a time. <laughs> if you have one foot in tomorrow and one foot in yesterday, you don't have a leg to stand on today. Oh. <laughs> well, Use today you twice. Right? You are a real poet. That, uh, hey, that's a gym inspiration. We look forward to those. Yeah. We call them gym inspirations because yes. they're inspirational things from yeah. Jim. Yeah, yeah, linger longer, Mom. <laughs> oh, yeah, how about you try to linger longer? <laughs> oh, no, you didn't, Daniel, because when you get home, I can still get you. So you uh -oh. That's right. Uh, don't hit him in the lower back area. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Poor bastard. If I was a regular human being, uh, I'd be crying my eyes out. I'm just, just, just sad. <laughs> Good news, though. Carrot Top has a kidney made out of a paper plate. <laughs> <Yeah. in the laughs> <trunk. laughs> so we're, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. okay. You you know, my, mo my mother looks pretty good. She looks great. I'm wondering yeah. what your mom is. What I wanted to know, o Aurora? Yes. Do you have any pictures anywhere where they, we could see? Yeah, in, in my house. You got a Facebook you got or a MySpace or, or something? No, I don't no, got any photos don't of don't, my mom. I don't on Facebook or anything like that. Maybe I walk into the, to the studio one of these days. Do you have Twitter? Yeah, that'd be good. How old a gal are you, Aurora? Look, I'm in my 40s. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah it's fine. fine. I'm in my 40s, too. Uh, so. We'll, uh, we'll invite you to the memorial show. show. Don't freak out. Oh, Jesus. God. You should Don't come freak in, out. You should come in with young Daniel. 
Oh, I will. I'll, I'll come in. All right. We I, like we like your boy. He's a good boy. I've been trying to convince my mother to come in forever. Forever? Well, it seems like it's been for a while. I've been trying to convince her to come in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he does. He does. Holy no, You're only in that. your forties, and you didn't know about drinking when you were pregnant. <laughs> All right. You know, I didn't know about drinking when I was. Oh my pregnant. god! You I are so, so much. Oh, that could explain man. some things. You're right. Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? Uh, what? What? What just happened? Holy shit! Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Oh man! I want to repeat this on the radio, and I'm going to basically. Hear it it's trying to say that you were irresponsible when you were pregnant. With no, Colton. I yeah. was not. He said, "Didn't you read the warning on the bottle? <laughs> it was a, it was a skull with two bones as X's through the skull, saying, don't do what you were doing.' You, it wasn't your fault, no, Aurora. We know that. My pregnancy, I did not. We know it wasn't. We knew breakdancing was popular when you was pregnant with Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I, I, I'm, 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 rec I'm recanting that toward God. Yeah, like, yeah, God, yeah. please let me this recant. Is bad. Please. This is bad. Carrot Top I'm has really left the studio, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Top. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to feel he so bad. He left his props here. You know, yeah, yeah, he <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude. All right, can we please, can we please just say goodbye yeah, to this yeah, nice yeah, lady? Yeah. Thank you, Aurora. We, Aurora, we love your son. You. You're wonderful. Yeah. Goodbye, sir. You guys have a great bye. Thank you. Yeah. shit. Fucking Bobo's kidneys are failing. So, wait, now this. Did you guys all just find this out when I my arrival and my yeah yeah, yes. yeah he walked in and you're yeah because like, he going? lost weight and we were trying to figure out why and it turns out uh, and I maybe. jokingly said I hope he's sick oh I, Jimmy. but I would say that about anybody of course right. you would but you're working out I didn't mean right? yeah exactly and you're under Docker's yeah. supervision yeah okay what are, is it was there a urologist? Lance getting a phone call. Phone it's oh. karma. Yeah, let's get to the. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's karma, guys. <laughs> it's karma. Hey, you're man. fucked. Click. Oh Jesus. Hey, who you? Who is that on the fucking phone? On He's on the phone, you dumb fuck. No. <laughs> He's getting his cock sucked. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting his big guinea cock sucked. Stop calling him. His big fat guinea cock is getting sucked. <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> Who is that? Is that the gun faggot? Is that the faggot from the gun store? Why don't you shoot this one off in your mouth? It's got two squishy bullets on it. <laughs> two squishy bullets. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'll pick that up later then. Oh, yeah. What's the matter? Did the bullets just come in? Boo for guns. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm hearing him in the background. Is that him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my gun, gun guy. guy. Uh, this is my gun guy. He just got a 50 cal there. Coliseum uh, gun trader. 50 cal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is gun you guy. need one of those. Yeah, uh, we got Mike the urologist oh, on the line from Jersey. <laughs> Mikey. What's going on, guys? How you guys doing? Hi, Mike. Good, Mike. Oh, my God. <laughs> Real quick, I've been listening to the show for maybe 15 years now, and I've been trying to figure out what's going on with Bobo just from listening to you guys. Yeah. But now you're telling me weight loss and blood and urine, and yeah, you guys are right. Like, that that does definitely raises some warning signals. Um, oh, just, I want to just make sure Bobo's seeing a doctor and going to see him regularly, and he's getting, you know, tests done. And if he wants to talk to me off the air about specialists that can handle what he's got going on, I'm more than happy talking to him about it. I hope this is just but, some uh, ghoul who's going to sexually assault him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the man told me that he had to get to my kidneys through my Heidi, and he had a special <laughs> scope. <laughs> and he put my what face I, in the pillow and operated. What I do in my off time has... <laughs> what I do on my off time. He told me he could get the blood out of my urine, but he had to suck it out like it was a snake bite. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, it's listen, out of my urine, but now it's coming out my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Bobo? Yeah? What's up with your kidneys? What are they telling you? Mm, well, they just said they found they found blood in it, and they gave me the these uh, these two medicines to take. Could be anything. Could they, be they kidney. They found and... blood in the kidney, and they gave you medicines to take. I'm sorry, yeah, could yeah, you repeat yeah, yourself? Blood in my second. urine. Could be anything. Could be they, anything. They gave me this this thing called a uh, amoxicillin. It's like this gigantic white, what I call a horse pill. Oh, because it's so Sarah freaking. Sarah Jessica Parker's. Yes, <laughs> Gary Coleman's wife was eating it with her giant teeth. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I know that was is an this, 
<laughs> All I know is it's this pill that's difficult to swallow. Ah, that I because it's just, a suppository. I, de- I describe the cup <laughs> as the size of a no, no, it's a cup the size of a super-sized cup at McDonald's. Why am I believing Anthony right now? <laughs> it's a, what? Well, I said, why am I believing Anthony right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's a suppository, and he's taking it by mouth. Oh, is that uh, great? <laughs> this, this is not good. This is not a good scene. Is Bobo Alive Friday starts uh, today. Bring back one of our old bits. The other, the other thing, Bobo, did, uh, did the doctor put a camera inside your, uh, your schlong? Oh, my God. No, no they, never, they, they never did that. <laughs> you would remember the huge metal rod going in your slot. Yeah, you would remember I, that. Even know, you would remember I, that. I, I know they did that a long time ago. Yeah, somebody's got to do it again, Bobo. You need a camera put in there again. <laughs> yeah, they did. They did that way back in 2004. Yeah, you need it done again, my friend. I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you, you need a one foot long, long metal rod shoved up your slot. I do it every day. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> That makes us groan when we do it, man. Oh, I don't yeah. doubt it. Oh. So, uh, the I actually kind of like stuff up my ass. Yeah, <laughs> occasionally, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mike. Oh, oh, put someone in a uniform. There goes Mike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Fleet Week. <laughs> yeah, it's Fleet Week. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's go to Sean in Georgia. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Sean. Hello? <laughs> Can you guys just stop? The video of Bobo talking to his past self and how upset he was when he found out his dad's grave was overgrown when he finally got to visit again. I kind of started taking the funny out of it for me. But well, the funny's been taken saying, out. His mom saying he's a strong boy, I haven't lost him yet, has just ruined it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little yeah, Please. I, we know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Not a soft dick in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo, does your mom have uh, <laughs> Bobo? Does your mom have cruise ship pamphlets laying around the house? No, no, no cruise ship pamphlets or no, no, no. She's pretty, she, my, my mom's very intelligent. All right. Oh my god. My mom's very Thank intelligent. You for all right. Damn it. Thank you. If I was on Who Wants, if I was on Who Wants oh to Be a Millionaire, god. she'd be one of my phoner friends. If you were on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, she'd be one of That's my phoner show. friends. Yeah, it's like has been done for a long time. Jesus. Well, like, Carrot Top, I, what's your take on this whole thing? Well, it was on I, to tell the I, truth. I, that's sad, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is. is. Yeah, he might, come in with a few he props. might really be sick. <laughs> yeah. He, might, he's, he is, dude. It's mm. not that he bad. He is. He is. No, he's all right. Because he when, when he picked up, no, when you picked up his shirt, <laughs> yeah. it's not, his body hasn't transferred. He's not working out. He's melting away. <laughs> I know that, dude. He's, I'm look. I'm diabetic, man. When you're sick, dude, you could your body will dude, he's just do things, man. And he's, and he's on his but bike. But he's eating salads for a on few his bike blocks every day. Yeah, he did a sit up on Thursday. And he's <laughs> right. taking amoxicillin, so that's the that's life. for the infection. Antibiotic. So oh, yeah. he's the right. doctor says the American just Indians an wore on their feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this show has really taken a turn. I want to apologize to Carrot Top. Yep. Is there any pain? I don't think he has a prop in that fucking yeah, trunk y- to bring y- us yeah, back. There, where is, it, where's it, the pain? It's it's around here. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, right where the kidneys shit. are. Let the audience oh, know. Check him out now. There's pain on and oh, off. He's, right he's, before I take the medication, when I wake up in the morning, yeah. and oh, a lot of times no. I drink a lot of water to try to subsidize the pain. <laughs> Subsidize the pain. Well, I feel I got to do the pain. He's in a yeah. fucking hospital bed with the sores. I, I, I just like learning I words. To, yeah, trying to get government funding for the pain. Yeah. I feel like I have to get the pipes constantly flowing. He's hoping if he drinks enough water, it'll push the tumor right out of his oh, body. God, I think, no, don't say because that. Sometimes I think it's because my kidneys are almost drying out, and I want to constantly have the pipes flowing. You don't have a kidney stone, do you? No, I don't. I would. I would know. I would think that would be in the worst pain ever. Yeah, this is just. A, is this a? Is this a low kind of 
throbbing pain? Is it a, a dull pain or a sharp pain? Does it feel dull like a headache or sharp like a knife sticking in? No, it's like a small pain. Oh, boy. It's like a small pain. Jesus. A small pain. But on both sides? Some Most of the time on one side. So I'm constantly drinking fluids. Most of the time on one side. Yeah, most of the time it's just in one side. All right, so maybe we could save right. one of the two. So it's not complete renal failure. <laughs> right. <That's>, All right. <laughs> this is just and believe, and believe me, the reason I, I, I have the reason I have an idea of how of how painful kidney stone would be. Yeah. When I was on a trip to Florida, one of my uncles who lives there was oh, going what did he do? had yeah. one. <laughs> he had one. He had a kidney stone during that time, and I remember the pain he was in, the screaming. Were you an empath? No, I just remember seeing. I just remember seeing the he, pain he, he was him. going through. <laughs> Every, yes, had that kidney stone feeling hit in the back of the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Should we weigh Bobo today? Bobo, do you know what you, you used to weigh? I don't know. Was, <laughs> last time I checked, it was one sixty something. Last what, it time. fired like a <laughs> fired like a BB. <laughs> it's come out. In, in, in the back of the bell, in the back of your throat. And... <laughs> uh, that doesn't feel normal. <laughs> oh my god, this is just not so right. So, how much did you weigh? When, when did you weigh yourself last? It it was a month ago. I weighed myself. A month ago. Okay, and you weighed well, how much? Does he look? <laughs> does he look uh, 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 much different from Cherry Darts? Aunt? Yeah, that was only what a, three weeks ago. Uh, yeah, he he All definitely. Right. And how much did you weigh it. then? I I think I weighed about one sixty. How much are you now? Just, <laughs> to one hundred two. Do we have a Do we have a, a scale? I have no idea. I don't. We're getting a scale. Oh, We're getting a scale. I, I don't bother going on scales a lot because then it just makes you overwork out because you show up <laughs> yeah, enough, yeah, enough yeah, with the yeah. working out thing. This okay? fucking guy has his lies. At this, lies yeah. just, oh, at this point, enjoy all the greasy food you want. Oh. <laughs> Eat at McDonald's every day. Oh, enjoy yeah, the pleasures no, exactly. of life. These lies are just... Holy shit. Oh. Enough about the salad, okay? If, now, if I'm going to eat a burger, I think the best burgers are at Donovan's and Woodside. <laughs> He just flirts these things out. <laughs> oh, those, those burgers are freaking oh, huge, but they're damn yes. good if you got the stomach for it. We're well, not talking you about those you burgers. Used to. You don't <laughs> have the stomach for it. Yes. No. Fuck we're, me. we're talking about those two paperweights in your body. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, come on, man. Oh. Come on, man. God damn it. Uh, Come on, All right. Man. Let's get that scale down there. Uh, oh, Bobo. So Bobo, Bobo weighed 160 man. what? Come on, man. Bobo? Uh, about 160. 160 last, last time you weighed yourself? Yeah. All right. Let's get Bobo on the and scale. And that was about a month ago? Yeah, that was about a month let's ago. see what he weighs on that. Uh, mm. Mm. Steve's running away from the scale. <laughs> His mortal enemy. <laughs> 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 oh my god, are you kidding me? I tried to grab it, it exploded like matter and antimatter. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit. Uh, oh god. What are you doing, Bubba? Taking no, it. All right. I, I there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, you might as well. <laughs> That's what they tell him at the doctor. That's he's doing dog. He's taking his brain. <laughs> Why you he's using <laughs> kidneys off. <laughs> put, put one of these pins in his mouth like a thermometer. He's not going <laughs> to. He weighs exactly one second. Take his shoes and his kidneys off. You take it. This is not right. This one, is not, oh, fuck. one sixty. One sixty. Oh my god! Where did it go? Yeah. Bobo. Bobo. How could you wear the same? You don't wear the same. He's probably oh, making a mistake know. about what he used to weigh. Yeah, yeah, you're making a mistake of what you used yeah. to weigh. Yeah, something's going on. Because it's obvious that you used lost to weigh weight. more. You lost weight. Just the swelling. I think it was oh, a little god. bit more than that. Maybe he's losing weight it's there, and the tumor's getting bigger. Yeah, you get swelled up. We're gonna have to find him a fucking Bobo. kidney. Holy shit! <clears throat> How are we gonna do that? Yeah. We couldn't even get him a hand job. <laughs> <I know. laughs> How the fuck are we gonna save Bobo? 
Holy shit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is not a good day. <laughs> Got a good attitude, though, Bobo. I tell you that, bro. Yes. yes. How what much blood, Bobo? Right? Is it bright red? Or I, is I, it... I don't know. They just found a little bit of blood. You couldn't, you couldn't even see the blood in that <laughs> urine. Oh, okay. Right, when I peed into this cup, oh, and <laughs> I... And usually you'd expect it gives you these cups, those those thick plastic cups. The inside of the cup, like the Kool Aid monster. But you're peeing into these cups that, and you like find in an office water cooler. Right. Yeah. And something that you always said is this sanitary to pee in a cup that's the size of an office. That's a, that's something you'd find in a water cooler. And I, and they they they, they looked. They did that. I don't still, know those strips. Still blasting out those the strips that look like my mother's. This guy's di- a fucking great attitude. Like my mother's man. diabetes testing strips. Oh, your mother's a diabetic. Yeah, since what she a was a kid, house. she's had that. Okay. You're... Believe me, it was always creepy as a kid seeing my mother inject herself. Uh, uh, she just told you it was diabetes. Yeah, exactly. Was it creepy <laughs> watching her vomit with her black friends and <laughs> then pass out? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... <laughs> we, <laughs> we gotta go to Matt in Queensbury. Matt, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I just wondered, uh, Bobo, have you have you overheard your mother recently whispering on the phone to someone about getting a room changed into a game room? <laughs> yes. oh, no, come on. Is she online ordering things like a new oak desk? <laughs> Other things that you can now use for an office? Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oof. Uh, wow. Damn it, we're missing Bieber fever. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's a... That's right around Look the corner. It. Oh, great. What is he saying? What, you're you're not getting out of here alive oh, today. fuck, man. He, that's he, the street I got to go down. Yeah, this right. fucking shit. He turned the volume <laughs> up or no? Uh, <laughs> no. That'd be funny. This is the worst shit. Can you turn that up? <laughs> yeah, turn that up? Yeah, this, yeah. Is yeah, this live? Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. He's right. He's over at uh, Rockefeller Dude, Center. Do you understand I have to drive right through this? Literally. <laughs> you take. Do you take that left on six? I go, I go straight across forty fucking. Look at like, Can they get the fucking sign out of the way? I want to I, see this boy. I, uh, I, I love how we went from Bobo's, uh, dep- you know, uh, 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 health issues to yeah. oh god, I hope Ant gets home today. I know. <laughs> I was like all that. of a sudden just concerned like about myself <laughs> like getting that. my Escalade home. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Shoes and kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Ant is the most, by far, the most brutal. There was a. The, it, it could be the funniest thing I've ever heard him do. It was. It was. Uh, we got a call one time. Lydia was on the phone, and a guy called up, and he was just talking about uh, how his daughter had died, and I couldn't believe when he started it with the sound effects. It's. It's probably the most brutal thing I've ever heard. But I actually downloaded. I never download clips of the show. I download that. It's on my desktop. <laughs> I don't know why I feel compelled it to was, be so horrible because I really feel bad on the way. I, it home. was the purest I form of bad. comedy, just trying to make something horrible fun. It was, it was <laughs> terrible. Yeah, maybe that's it. It's the fact that I don't like like moments that are real and kind of like sad. So I I try to make light of them, and sometimes it comes out as very cruel. You don't want to really I, think it. I think co- about it. I've never actually been shocked. <laughs> But I saw your finger hovering. I'm like, he couldn't be contemplating this. <laughs> he wouldn't hit a button at this time. <laughs> uh, you know what? Carrot Top works out a lot. You think yeah. Bobo's got, got this new body from working out? Well, I don't. I hadn't seen Bobo before. He this, was so probably pounds he's lost. But he's yeah. At least twenty. Ride his bike, you know. You never. Bobo, know. let me see your uh, biceps. Make them. Pull your sleeve up and make a muscle. No, no your no, biceps. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, Jesus! Look at what That's he's doing. That's how you make a bicep. Pull, yeah, you, yeah, you don't have to tighten your face up. Take your shirt off. No, don't take your. You might as well take your shirt off. All right, here. You might as well take your pants off too. No, don't make him take his pants off. Yeah, you're fucking. I'm not standing for that. Yeah, I don't want to see how it all starts. I don't want to see. That's how it all starts. I was like, I've seen this before. This is what I do on my Tuesdays off. What is that pose you're doing? See, he's not working out. If that's how he shows off a bicep, I don't see any muscle tone in that arm whatsoever. Your your neck is tan. Yeah. yeah, you got quite the farmer's tan, they call that. Yeah. What now, happened? You've been wearing long sleeves, like, why, in the summer? Why the red, red neck? I, I don't know. It's because they've it, been outside a Is lot. Is it the radiation? <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus can you, can you get Christ. The, oh, all right, but I haven't been working burn. out my arms, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see that I muscle. I got some guns. Let's get, guns. The, let's get the pants down. 
His, no, no, his no. His fucking please, biceps, don't, don't. biceps, biceps, biceps are actually <laughs> concave. Carrot top. They go the other way. Pull your pants down. He's a big star. They go like this. They make a star. This. Your muscles. No, no, really. No, no. Patrice is singing something like what? What, what are you, part fucking Cajun? You see a glowing face on him or it, something, just, you know? So, she, she just has a good attitude. You, you really don't yeah. want to see something that looks like it's been operated on so much. He's had 20 yeah, some odd operations on his penis there, Carrot yeah, really? yeah, To make it smaller. So no, big and delicious. 48. 48. <laughs> operations on your penis? <laughs> they messed up an 48. operation when I was little. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's called birth. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. actually, well, I was about two when it happened. <laughs> they made a mistake at Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they messed, they messed up a urinary system Stabbed operation. You just got hanger I, marks all over. I wound up with an infection from that messed up operation. <laughs> God uh, damn it. Nearly Jeez. died. From from obstruction of my urinary system. <laughs> he cries every time he walks by a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right, do you have any idea how how much oh, how many God. times my mother was sitting right next to me, right next to the hospital bed I was on? Yeah. yeah. My, my, my Did you notice her kicking went, plugs out? <laughs> my, my mother had the beyond, right? <laughs> She she would go to she would she would go to work and as soon as she got home from her job just waiting for her to fall asleep so she pulled a plug bed. and it never happened this oh, fucking shit. guy and when she wasn't and when she, and when and she wasn't there my grandmother, was there. Oh. Yeah. my grandmother was there my great my grandmother was there and the weird thing is she's been dead for ten years <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now my grandmother's up. still alive all right oh, it was it was, it was an attempt yeah. at a joke that's all right Jesus. unfortunately though my great grandmother passed away. 99 years she old. She was mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. She just passed away two days ago. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah, what happened? Don't sorry worry, you'll that. be seeing her soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was hit by a bus. I've never even I met know, her, fun. though. Oh, I have had the old deer die. Was she alone? Yeah. I don't know the whole details. <laughs> was there an orderly on top of her? Because I haven't <laughs> heard from my grandmother yet. My, gra my grandmother's in Florida right now. <laughs> <laughs> Next time my grandmother's in town, she'll let me know. You, know you just gave you just gave Carrot Top an idea for a prop. <laughs> 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 Carrot Top, when you have enough money in the fucking bank, that's what you got to do in your career. Go evil. Evil prop prop guy. Oh, oh fuck. God damn it. Patrice, we lost Patrice. This is the worst. Pillow and handle. Those doctor deaths. Those fucking nurses, male nurses. Oh, it's fantastic. He just plopped right in. Yeah. Make sure you make sure you straighten that little old nose out though when you're done. <laughs> That's a dead giveaway. It sure is. That bent over is he, schnozzle. Is <laughs> pounding project semen into her as her fucking little white shoe falls off. <laughs> her girdle's askew. <laughs> they notice that her thing is like part of the sheet is tucked into her her stockings because <laughs> he was in a rush. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you might want to get your in here. I'm out. Wait, a carrot top oh. is getting uncomfortable. He wants Boba to put his shirt back on. Yeah, he doesn't want to put his shirt back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Bobo, uh. Well, Bobo. When, when are, you, are you working out today? Yeah, I'll be working out later today. Yeah? What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm be doing what I usually do. I do sit ups and, uh, and uh, ride my bike around. Uh, can we see some sit-ups? Yeah, let's see some sit-ups. Hey, Make well, sure you're doing it right. That's, good. That's a good idea. <laughs> Hold on, get the cords out of the way, Bubba, so you don't hurt your back. Move this, Sam, move this guy for him. Hold on, Daniel. <laughs> he's just laying in cords with a water in his hand. Very smart. That's why his, that's why his kidneys hurt. Exactly. Exactly. He doesn't have a fucking All right. Well, that's a good <laughs> pose. <laughs> he's got his Get hands. used to that pose. <laughs> his hands are folded, hands across. Are folded across his chest <laughs> to do some crunches. Uh, uh, um, Carrot Top, is he doing these right? He's at one, two. Uh oh, this regiment. Three. Breathe. Four, you have to breathe. Yeah, you gotta breathe. You're not yeah. breathing at all. Yeah. You're holding your breath. <laughs> now I know his neck is red. He's, yeah, yeah, his he's <laughs> choking himself. Oh, I've never done this on radio before, so. It's yeah, it's different. Apparently, it's more stressful. <laughs> How many is that? Seven or eight. Do your kidneys hurt when you do that? <laughs> well, you're, well, you're right now.
<laughs> well, if your Ten. kidneys hurt, I wouldn't I do it just anymore. Down yeah, the yeah, you did enough. Yeah, you did, you did plenty. We saw your form. That's you good. You did enough. All right, yeah. get, get up. You're ready to fight Apollo Creed. You look good. <laughs> 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 Is that a breath? <laughs> oh, boy. Actually, oh. she's going to collapse on a thing and feed like Adrian. <laughs> Blubber Lang. <laughs> <laughs> Rockhead Balboa. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. Keep up your good nature. <laughs> yeah. All oh. right, Bobo. We, uh, wow. 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 Who saw this coming today? Holy shit. Uh, well, we hope you're okay, Bobo. Absolutely. Bobo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you free appetizers at F.H. Riley's. All right, that's that, what I do for you. All right, that's great. I'll do. Yeah. Th thanks, Opie. One per visit, though. Right? <laughs> right. well, well, I'm sorry. Well, I'm, 40 years, I'm, I'm forty years. I'm forty years late. Burgess Meredith. It's not good. Mm. I hope uh, that I hope that like karma understands that this is, has to happen in this yeah. room. Yeah. But this is a fucking karma free room. Mm. Well, and if you mm. want to come to uh Caroline's. I'm not even plugging my own gig. Caroline's <laughs> I'll be there tonight, tomorrow, Saturday. If you uh if you want to bring you wanna need three tickets, one for you and one for each busted kidney. <laughs> 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 bring your mom's friends, come oh. to whatever show you want. We'll give you some room so no one bumps into your kidneys. You know, which one you want? 